Testing in progress. Call the uh, June sixteenth meeting of the neighborhood improve neighborhood and community improvement commission to order. Uh, um, if you'd like to read the script for hybrid meetings. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the June 16th meeting of the Monterey Neighborhood and Community Improvement Program, the NCIP. We encourage members of the public to join our meeting this evening via ZoomGov which is a secure service for use by government agencies. Joining on Zoom is preferred because there is no lag time when you are connected to the meeting. However, this meeting is also streamed live on youtube.com forward slash city of Monterey with a delay of approximately 10 seconds and on Comcast channel 25 with a delay of up to 90 seconds. If you plan to make a public comment this evening, please join the meeting using the Zoom Gov app or by telephone, making sure you join in time to accommodate the delay. To join the meeting from Zoom on your computer or phone, use the link or phone number on the agenda at isearchmonterey.org. Since this meeting has already begun, you'll find the agenda under the recent tab at the bottom of that page. To join by telephone, dial 833-568-8864, free, and then enter webinar ID 161-843-6636 and the pound symbol or hashtag. If prompted to enter a participant ID, press the pound symbol or hashtag again. This information is available at the top of tonight's agenda in the red text. And detailed instructions on using Zoom are also available at monterey.org forward slash public meetings. To make a public comment, please raise your hand using Zoom, or if you are connected by phone, dial star nine to raise your hand, then star six to unmute yourself. Public commenters will be muted until it is their turn to speak. We ask that the public commenters turn off TV or computer speakers, or go to another room while connected by phone as any background noise will interfere with the broadcast. Each public speaker will be called on in the order that their hands were raised. The chair has designated a two minute time limit for tonight's meeting with a countdown timer shown on the screen. If you are connected live on Zoom, the timer is accurate with no delay. Please stay within your time limit so that you won't be cut off. Thank you, and we look forward to receiving your public comments this evening. Thank you, Tom. Uh, if Alyssa, if we could have a roll call, please. All righty. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Aguahito Oaks. Alta Mesa. Here. Casanova Oak Knoll. Here. Deer Flats. Here. Del Monte Beach. Here. Del Monte Grove Laguna Grande. Here. Downtown. Here. Fisherman Flats. Here. Glenwood. Here. Monterey Vista. Here. New Monterey. Here. Oak Grove. Here. Old Town. Here. Skyline. And Villa Del Monte. Here. Okay, okay, we, Rick. okay, we have a quorum. Uh, this point will go to public comments. This is an item for anyone on the public to address the NCIP on anything that is not on tonight's agenda. We will have a time for public comments on projects that when we get ready to start into voting. Uh, so if anyone who wishes to address the NCIP on anything that's in our purview, but not on our agenda, this is to, the time to come forward. Uh, and you'll have uh, two minutes. I don't see anyone in the public coming forward. Uh, let me check online. Uh, Mr. Smith, are you for public comments or for speaking in front of the, uh, about an item on the agenda? You want to unmute uh, 
Ed Smith and Ed, do you want to sp are you speaking to an item on the agenda or general public comments? Uh, it'll be on an item, Rick. Okay, in which case, I had a feeling that was the case. So in which case, I'll close the overall public hearing and we'll move on to the first item on the agenda, which is approval of the minutes for the June 2nd meeting. Does anyone have any uh, additions or changes to the minutes? Uh, none. We have a motion from New Monterey. Do we have a second to approve the minutes? Second. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor. All right. Actually, roll call, please. I'm still used to asking for all in favor. Alta Mesa. Aye. Casanova Oaknoll. Aye. Deer Flat. Abstain. Del Monte Beach. Aye. Del Monte Grove Laguna Grande. Aye. Downtown. Aye. Fisherman Flats. Aye. Glenwood. Here. Yes. <laughs> Monterey Vista. Yes. New Monterey. Aye. Oak Grove. Oak Grove. Yes. Okay. Old Town. Aye. And Villa Del Monte. Abstain. Uh, the minutes are approved. Um, shall we move on to the first informational item? Thank you. Yes. And this is the last time you will have to hear me remind you about the anti harassment training, which is due by June 30th this year. Oh. Okay. Um, and then we also, a um, couple of things have um, changed since the last meeting. We had some procedural changes, they were outlined in the agenda, but we just wanted to run over those quickly. Um, just about uh, what we'd like to do. Well, let me just read from my notes. Um, these were outlined in the agenda item under item number four. Um, there was a section in there about um, we just were planning to add another meeting in August after this meeting to kind of follow up. Uh, we met with uh, the chair and vice chair staff did on June 7th to plan the agenda for this meeting. And then um, as we were discussing, we realized that it would be um, useful to have another meeting where we could come back to the full NTIP committee to um, disclose um, how the, the voting process resulted, which projects would actually be recommended to council for funding this year. Tonight, we are prioritizing the projects like we always do, or we did last time. We're prioritizing the projects and uh, based on the funding that we received from finance, we'll take the highest ranking projects and start working against the, the funding that's available and just work down the list until we're out of funding. Um, at that point, we'll add four cutoff projects. And this is all outlined in the procedures manual, the policy and procedures manual. Um, and then we'll come back, uh, we're hoping mid August to just let everyone know these are the actual projects that are going to council. What that does is it allows us to prepare more detailed cost estimates. Um, we'll be able to look at the contingencies for each project and come up with more accurate contingencies. So we'll have a better, a much better idea um, than we do tonight of the, the costs of each of the projects and how many of them we can uh, recommend to council. The council meeting is in September. We're trying to hold this meeting about a month before that. So we'll have time to. Uh, to get that to council. Um, I th think I've hit, oh, and then also at that meeting, we've discussed a couple things have come up this year. We've discussed the neighborhood boundaries. Um, we can talk about that at that meeting. We can also discuss the definition of community-wide projects, which is something we discussed a few months ago. Um, and also there's that letter of support for the regional uh, fire program as well, or the fire protection, regional fire protection plan um, that we're gonna do. So, we've also had a request to have a kind of a, a chance to have us have an open discussion about how things went, the cycle, any potential changes or things that we might be talking about or recommending. But the idea of being of having a, that meeting in August to really determine where is the cutoff going to be We'll have better cost estimates for those at the top. Right now, they're kind of ballpark. 
yes. will also have a better feel for what we will really need from a contingency standpoint. So at that meeting will be where we'll formally decide, okay, this is what's being sent to council uh, and with what cutoffs and what are we going to do for contingency at that point as well. Trying to do all that tonight along with all the voting felt it would short shrift any kind of discussion we would have on that. And there's time because city council doesn't, this doesn't come before the council until September in any event. So that was the thought process behind it that, you know, Gene and I reviewed with the staff on it and we concurred. I thought it was a good idea and a, and a good approach. And um, that, that was, Jamie, you have a yeah. question? Did I hear that the procedure manual specifies four cutoff? Yes. And so in the past, I'm not sure that we've stuck with four. I think we've tried to give guidance. I think we're going to have to see where we are with the numbers, but I believe it says four and we can verify. Of course, that's our that procedure point. manual. We can always change it too. Yeah. But where we set, what we set for contingency will also determine where that cutoff is going to be as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's why I was thinking it might be nice to have some room for us to decide that point well, as well. well. We'll we'll review and make sure what it says in the manual. But if it says four, that's what we're stuck with. Okay. That may have been one of those changes that happened in the last go through. Mr. Whitry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I uh, just wanted to let folks know as, as the, the drafting of the manual, there are provisions that the public works director will work with the NCIP staff to make corrections, make it a living document to correct issues or concerns that have uh, impacted the flow of process or may do something with that to make more, more um, robust or more a fair process. Okay. So there is that ability. It does not have to go to council. It's something that the chair, vice chair, through the NCIP committee can work with the public works director to address and change. So if, if we have one by that time. We do. We actually uh, like, to, oh. like to let you guys know that as, as you are aware, uh, my last day really on the clock here is tomorrow. So I couldn't wait to stay here for one more night in a little more casual garb. But um, Andrea Rennie has been appointed our interim public works director. Uh, in interim or full? She's interim for a period of time to make sure that she's comfortable with the job okay. because uh, she has to balance her family too. So it's, <laughs> it's no question about her abilities. It's it's just, it's a it's a balancing act because there's a little bit of demand for this. Okay. Stressful, terrible, terrible, terrible. Thank, thank you. <laughs> and and welcome, Andrea. I see you're online, so. Thank you. Okay, uh, Tom, next item on staff uh, informational reports. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do that, but why don't we, and, and I'll take it from there with it and we'll we'll get going. And then before we actually vote, we'll then have each member's roll called to validate that you've either attended all meetings or seen or you know, the or listened to the the tape meetings. Okay, uh, the way this is going to work. Chair? Yes. Uh, just a point of clarification. We took, discussed each community quickly ranking their favored projects Will we be able to do that tonight? I think what you'll hear in a second with the procedure we're following goes along with that as well. Because the, the first step will be we will open to the general public for two minutes of, of comments on any of the projects. Please keep in mind, if you send something in in writing, we have it, we've read it. If you've spoken before on it, we've heard those. Doesn't mean you can't say it again, but we'd love to get through this and have folks find out what's happening with their projects before midnight tonight. So, but you're more than welcome, please, at two minutes each. After public hearing, public comments is done, we will then come to the commission. Each commissioner can say their neighborhood priorities, anything else they're wanting to say related to any of the projects. Basically, it's your time to lobby the rest of your fellow commissioners on it. Uh, everyone will get one chance. Ideally, we're not doing a debating or back and forth, and then we'll vote. And once we start voting, it's one project after another. Ideally, I think the record last time, we kept it to three minutes of voting process for each one, because what is going to happen for the general public is we will say vote, and then each member and those online will have to hold up a number from zero to 10. That's how many points they're giving it. Staff will make a note of all those points. And that's, then we move on to the next one. Same thing, vote. And we go through 158 projects that way. 
uh, that sets the priority order of ranking of all projects based off of how many total points they get. So the most, how many total members do we have here? 14, so the highest vote something could get would be 140 if everyone gave it a 10. Lowest vote, needless to say, would be zero if no one gave it any vote. So it's going to be somewhere in there uh, is what the process is going to be. Uh, so we we try to do it. We're not advocating between each one. It's just once we start voting, it's voting. Anyone have any questions on process? Gene, did I answer your question? Sure did. Okay, thank you. Uh, and... So let's open up, uh, no, first step we need to do is uh, actually two other things. One is there are four projects that will be heard at the beginning because there are, there are conflicts of interest with a member. As we deal with each of those, the member who has a conflict will either leave the room or go to the back room. The alternate would come up, actually do the vote for that, and then go back. And so we have four of those that we'll be dealing with first. And then we go into the regular voting. But first, uh, uh, Alyssa, if you could do a roll call and if just each member indicate and certify for the record that you either attended all meetings or if not, you've actually seen uh, the, the or heard the, the tape of the meeting. Okay, Alyssa, go ahead. Okie doke, Rick Hoyer. I've been to all meetings. Okay, Richard Ricciello. All meetings, all documents. Okie doke. Um, Dave Overton. Yeah, um, I did miss a couple meetings. And as I shared an email a little while ago with Alyssa, I was extended travel. So I wasn't able to view the video. So I have to recuse myself from voting. Uh, there's only one project in Deer Flats. Um, and uh, I thought initially I was a uh, conflict of interest, but I guess that has been cleared. But um, anyway, I. I, I can't vote on that because uh, anyway, I didn't attend the meeting. So I'll, I'm gonna recuse myself this evening. Okay, thank you, Dan. We'll miss you. Uh, Jamie Fields. Attended all meetings. Yep. Scott Hansen. Attended all meetings. Yep. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped Harry. I don't know if he's, he's in attendance there in the chamber though. Is he there? You know, uh, Joseph Hill, is he in the chamber as well? No. no. Okay. Uh, Kurt Tipton. And at all meetings. Okie doke. Bella Lofaso, is Bella in the chamber? I don't see her online. No. Nope. All meetings? Have you attended all meetings? She's attended all meetings, Lisa. Perfect. Uh, Tom Rowley? Attended all meetings and read all the stuff that was submitted. Okie doke. Uh, Marilyn Maxner, is Marilyn in the chamber? No hands waving out there, so. Okie doke. Uh, Lee Whitney? I attended all meetings. Okay, Amanda. Oh, I think I have Amanda as an attendee, so actually allow her to talk. Amanda, Amanda Priest? Yes, yes, I'm here. I've attended all the meetings. Thank you. And Jean Rash? I uh, missed two meetings that I completely audited and took notes, and I read all the letters that were submitted. Okie doke. Hans Janish? Is Hans in the chamber? Yeah. Uh, I uh, missed one meeting, but didn't watch it. Did you hear that? I can't quite. <laughs> one meeting, but he watched the video. Perfect. Uh, William Whipple. I missed two meetings and I did watch the videos for both the meetings that I missed. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Chinyere Agbana, is she in the chamber? Yes. I missed one meeting, but, missed one meeting, but watched. Perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you. Luce Adam? I attended all meetings. I can't, can't hear you, Luce. I don't know if your mic is on. All meetings. Can you hear me now? A little bit. It's a little low, but I can I can hear you. <laughs> okay, I attended all meetings. Okie doke. Perfect. Thank you. Pat Erlinger. Don't see her as an attendee. Is she in the chamber? She's in the here and she attended all meetings. Perfect. Thank you. April Harrison. Attended all meetings. Perfect. 
Sue Ricketson. She is on Zoom. Actually, I'm sorry, Sue. Got to allow you to talk there. <laughs> Sue Ricketson. Attended all meetings. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And Dennis, oh, we don't have Dennis in attendance. I don't believe you're online. Oh, no, you are online. You are. Sorry about that, Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> I actually uh, just got to the hotel and then I my emails downloaded. So then I finally got a link. I was hoping to do it on my computer, but I'm on my cell phone. So, uh, yes, I'm here. I've been attended all meetings and uh, here we go. Perfect. Thank you, Dennis. And then Dwayne Peterson. Dwayne, I think I have you in the chamber. I missed one and watched the video. Okie doke. Perfect. Thank you. And then Tammy, I think I have yet. Yep. As an attendee, Tammy Jennings. Yes, I have attended all meetings except one, and I did watch it on the internet. Perfect. Thank you so much, Tammy. All righty. And that is it for us, Rick. Okay, so with the exception of uh, Dave, uh, everyone is able to be participating in voting. <clears throat> and for the public, the reason there are so many people, we also were asking the alternates, because if there's a conflict, the alternate will vote on behalf of the, the members, so they need to also meet the same requirements. Okay, so we will open the public hearing on all projects. So if you wish to speak to any, please raise your hand online and uh, or, and or come to the dais. Uh, I do have uh, online, I have Ed Smith. Ed, if you could go ahead and then we'll go to the dais for the next one. Un unmute yourself, Ed, and go ahead and speak. Okay, I see you. Thank you very much. Can you hear me now, Rick? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And my apologies, I'm not able to get a video. Um, but I uh, appreciate all the work that we've done tonight and all the previous work that's been done uh, previously. I want to be very succinct because of time limits. Uh, one of the comments I made at our council meeting a few weeks ago was the interest level in uh, starting uh, some uh, community fundraising to uh, assist with the sports center's uh, need to slide repair. So I'm here tonight to ask the requester of the project and looking at the list, I believe it's number 115, uh, the nomination for the Sports Center Pool uh, water slide replacement of $200,000. So um, I'm here to say that I think that we can accomplish much of that through a fundraising efforts. I'm willing to lead that partnership with several others I've spoken with. And I think if appropriate, if the requester would consider to need money to put that off. Um, I don't have a specific figure in mind, but I leave that discussion, maybe 15, 20,000 uh, to help us do that, want to work on that and form a committee and help to raise the money to have that be a community uh, effort. And the other thing is that we have high ticket items that were listed. Um, the council, um, we discussed that. My effort and my vote was to leave the money intact with the NCC and not sweep that money, but of high interest is to get the repair done from the dehumidifier, if at all possible, possibly the requester would consider some seed money for that one as well. Uh, and then we can possibly look for some city funds to complete that project in time. So all very uh, significant efforts. I really appreciate all of your efforts and your work. And I wanna thank all of the committee that worked so hard throughout the year to do this. And thank you very much for your efforts and your votes too. Okay, thank you, Councilman Smith. Okay, we have a, at the dais here. Okay, thank you. Then after the dais, we'll go to Tammy Jennings in the public and online, and then the next person at the dais will kind of alternate. Please go ahead. Okay, good evening. Can you hear me okay? Microphone's on. Uh, yes, yes? I, okay, hopefully right. the it, the door will rattle if it okay. doesn't pick up on the TV. So. <laughs> okay, good evening to everybody. Thank you for your service to the community. Um, my name is Deanne Brady. I am co-president of Cannery Road Business Asso Association, and I'm here to advocate on behalf of our association for two projects that we've submitted applications for. Um, they're not only important for our district, but they're important to the city of Monterey as well. 
in 2016, 2017, we submitted an application for the restoration of the Aeneas Bridge on Cannery Row, which is the last remaining original crossover bridge in our district. Uh, the funding for the study has since been approved and will move forward to the City Council for consideration. What we are asking for tonight is funding for deferred maintenance based on the outcome of the historical assessment study. We feel it's important to have these two projects done in tandem so we don't lose valuable time and have the bridge fall further into disrepair. It's critical to the future of the bridge that it receives immediate attention before it's too late for the structure to be preserved. The second request is to move forward with a project that was previously approved in the 2018-2019 cycle for an additional restroom on Cannery Row. We understand the city has since proposed a citywide restroom study, which would include Cannery Row. We currently have only two public restrooms in our district, which leads to an unreasonable wait times for visitors, many employees, and locals using the rec trail. This has caused issues in the surrounding neighborhood of visitors using their yards as a restroom. An additional restroom would enhance the experience for visitors and locals alike. We, we encourage the approval of the restroom on Henry Row and for the city restroom study. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. Uh, we'll go to Tammy Jennings online, then there'll be the next gentleman who's at line in, in office here. Tammy? Hi, uh, this, my name's Tammy Jennings and I would like to speak on behalf of all mobility challenged people and first responders to please uh, consider citywide 13 the handicap accessible beach mats as one of your projects and thank you everybody for everything that you guys do it's wonderful have a good evening thank you tammy and we have gentlemen and i if you could just introduce yourself my name is Guy Lasabatier. I'm a uh, resident of Monterey, city of Monterey. I'm here specifically about the pool, about the sports center. I am a regular user four days a week of the pool. And if we could prioritize the um, repair or replacement of the dehumidifier, I think that would be great for not just the pool, but everything inside of the pool area. So thank you. Please okay. support it. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll go online with Esther and then to the next person who's in line. And when you're speaking at the dais here, you please make sure you speak into the microphone so that the TV can pick you up. But Esther, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Esther, you need to unmute yourself. Sorry. Uh, well, right. I, I hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, good evening, everybody. Esther Malkin, president of the Laguna Grande Neighborhood Association. I wanted to also thank everybody for the amount of time that you put into this, especially with the challenges that we've had um, with NCIP the last couple of years. I wanted to just um, let you know that our neighborhood board met this week and we reordered the priorities of our uh, projects that we've requested, and we are hoping that the top ones that we have picked would get some consideration um, because they are not only safety related, but they also involve the police department's participation in why we have picked them. Um, one of them being the lighting at the Laguna Grande Park on the Monterey side is a problem because when the police respond, it is pitch black out there and it adds to the safety issues that they put themselves at risk. Um, we have worked on both of the projects that we've named our first and second for a number of years, at least six or seven years requesting them. Um, we've considered the wildlife scenario that we have at the park, which is really important to us to protect them while we get have this lighting added and um we're hoping that that will motivate you guys to please help us out with that particular project the other one is um a, a radar sign on casanova which is basically been called casanova speedway and why that involves the police department is, is that we have to call them out here they're they're writing tickets all the time and it would free up their traffic trailer that we request often so that they can so that it can serve as the signage that we're requesting tonight. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Esther. Please. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to speak on behalf of the new Monterey 22 sidewalk project for Prescott Avenue. I'm Kristen Ensign, and this is Judah White. Um, first, I want to thank you for sending that letter that informed us that this project is back on the table for vote and prioritization. I wouldn't have known it had been pre-approved prior to the pandemic, and I lost hope on it. <laughs> so um, I've been an avid, avid observer of the community improvement since I moved here in May of 97 from Ohio. And Jude has been integral to teams working on projects that improve our community for about the same number of years. We're very excited for the sidewalk on Prescott Avenue to be complete all the way from the top of Forest down to the rec trail. Completing the sidewalk in front of 1740 Prescott will make this frequently traveled road safer for the pedestrians. I work from home and I see people walking strollers and dogs and runners out there every day. And I notice that some of them even cross the street in this rather unsafe spot on the road because there's a very steep hill leading up to it just to get to the sidewalk on the other side of the street, avoiding that dirt path that's right in front of 1740 Prescott. So once the sidewalk is complete, our goal is to finish our landscaping plans and fence. All of that's been put on hold waiting for the sidewalk, um, which we think will also enhance the curb appeal on the corner of Prescott and Parcel Street. So we look forward to your yes vote um, moving forward with this project um, this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to uh, online telephone ending in 452. And then we'll have the next gentleman who's waiting in line here. If you can unmute yourself, go ahead. Okay, hi, this is um, Kayla Fossum, president of Villa Del Monte Neighborhood Association. And I would just like to make a final plug for VDM 8, which is the hardscaping under Highway 1 at Casa Verde. Uh, this is not only a beautification pro project, but also to discourage homeless from camping around that area. And this was proposed like eight years ago. It got shot down. Then it was approved and funded and then got defunded for COVID, which, of course, we all understand. But my neighborhood has ranked this number one priority because we would it's a gateway to our neighborhood. It's a gateway to the fairgrounds. It's a gateway to Del Monte Beach. And it is embarrassing how horrible it looks. So we would really appreciate it if you guys could vote for it. It's been a long time in the works. It got a lot of support from other neighborhoods the last time it was voted for. And um, lastly, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all your hard work. I, I, just really appreciate how much you guys do, especially at voting night. <laughs> I don't think I could stay up that late. So um, good job. Thank you. And hope to see this project get approved. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Thank you uh, for the opportunity to speak here. Are you able to hear me okay? Yes, we can. Great. Uh, my name is Dr. Joseph Chudy. I'm a retired family physician, but I am speaking here in support of CW32 regarding the uh, modernization of the natatorium and pool at the Monterey Sports Center. Uh, I'm also the author of the uh, document that was uh, circulated for signatures by people that participated at the pool, and I think that that has been submitted to you, and you probably have that now. Uh, as a medical student at Irvine, uh, I was asked to do a study on uh, children that were near drownings. And we found that those that survived uh, with uh, minimal or no neurologic deficits uh, were those that got early CPR. Also, none of the people that were near drownings were swimmers. We just ended a uh, pandemic, uh, two years of uh, being in hiding essentially. And a lot of children that used to have the opportunity to come to the pool and learn their swimming uh, and not be afraid of water, that's been pretty minimal. Uh, now we're coming out of that and we have a future uh, to have these children uh, once again be able uh, to uh, uh, participate and 
uh, learn to be uh, friendly with the water and understand the dangers of water. Uh, but it's not only for the children, it's also for adults. And uh, I brought my grandchildren uh, to the, the pool. Uh, they've enjoyed the slide. Uh, they've enjoyed swimming. Um, and I've taught them some swimming. Uh, but we also have people that come at 7 a.m., including uh, my partner, uh, Bonnie. Uh, and she's been doing that five to six days a week for the last 10 years, at least. And <clears throat> oh, time's up. Please wrap up your comment. Okay. So, uh, you know, these people are older, but they are uh, using uh, the pool uh, for exercise, um, both their jaw and other uh, part muscles in their body, uh, but also for the camaraderie. And the pool is a gem uh, for the uh, community uh, at large. Uh, and we support uh, having uh, the work done, especially the dehumidifier, but many of the other parts of the project are certainly worthwhile and needed to keep this facility going. Thank you. Thank you. Love that. We have uh, no one else online. So next, next up. Yeah, I, Tom, you know, the, the camera up here, I think is frozen. So, yeah. Go ahead, please. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm here to give thanks to the committee. I want to thank you for funding a project that I presented regarding the recreation trail. I'm here to speak about tonight about CW51. And thank you for funding it in uh, about nine years ago. Uh, a, a study, a feasibility study was, was uh, funded for $40,000 and international symbol signage was also funded by this committee. And then thank you again in, in 2017 for funding a project, I believe the city requested and they engaged Witten Engineering to do uh, uh, feasibility studies and design plans for a separate path and trail widening. So now I'm here for the third time trying to get this um, accomplished and certainly would like you to support it on behalf of citizens, trail users, and especially disabled people who have a hard time um, accessing the trail. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go ahead. Good evening. My name is Sid Crampton, and I serve the uh, city with the Parks and Recreation Commission. I'm a, a tenure resident of Monterey, and I'm here to encourage the support of the expenses that have been requested for the pool, uh, especially the uh, the first, the top two that are that are on the list: the dehumidifier and also the pool plastering. Um, I don't know if you know this, but um, the sports centers was inspired by a. Uh, our mayor Clyde Robertson back in 1986, and would hate to see this disintegrate any further because of deferred maintenance. It is a vital part for the entire community, not just one neighborhood. And I can't uh, encourage you more to vote for it. And I, for one, thank you for all of the service that you're putting in on this. This is really massive what you're doing. And uh, I know I don't have the time to do what you're doing. So I thank you for all of your service. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, anyone else in the audience? I don't see any other attendees online. Okay, I'll close the public hearing. At this point, I'll bring it to the commission and uh, each commissioner will have a, an opportunity to uh, address the commission, ideally give your neighbor's, neighborhood's priorities and uh, whatever else thoughts you want to give to all of us to take into account before we start voting. So uh, whoever wants to put their hand up first. Uh... Or let's go alphabetical. I guess that makes me first. Uh, <clears throat> I don't normally like jumping in front of the line, but. Um, uh, alphabetical is easiest for us because we can follow with our pages. That's that's fine. We'll, we'll go alphabetical and I weed oaks is not here. So that I guess makes me go first. Tom, you have a question. Yeah. Are they going to give a breakdown? They are in the packet that was online was a total breakout of each each project broken out separately. Yeah. 
we now have a, uh, a whole list of CWs. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gene, question, or are you just waiting for, raise your hand to make sure you get to speak? Right. Um, I wanted just to suggest that we go alphabetically. I, we're, we're, I got talked into it. I don't normally like suggest a thing where, which puts me first, but <laughs> if everyone else does, that's, I'll, I'll go that way. Uh, from a standpoint of the Alta Mesa projects, uh, uh, I know AM11 uh, is our top project. While I'm not necessarily personally crazy about taking a tree out, I've had a lot of folks talking about the safety hazards of it and all the rest. This is the a eucalyptus tree, which is AM11. Uh, the second project would be AM5, which is the Don Dobby Creek Path Design and Engineering. Uh, I would ask for that before seven or eight, since seven or eight are, was original funding to do projects from that original engineering, which is almost done. So uh, other than that, I think the, the other projects can wait for another uh, time frame. From my standpoint, I've been going back and forth of how I'm voting tonight uh, and what I'm putting tens on versus zeros versus other things. Uh, I started out in this process saying I was only going to be putting anything on projects that were previously funded and not voting on anything new. Uh, I've kind of come full circle. I'm looking at safety first and also things that will prevent ongoing additional costs if we don't do them. Uh, that's why I am going to support the dehumidifier, although I choke on the price tag of it, and I wished it would be a smaller amount that we're just contrib contributing towards it. And if there's any way we could have it be a smaller amount versus the large, uh, I'd go for it. But uh, the way we work is, unless it's the submitter, that's what we're stuck with. Uh, the other thing is, is fuel fire fuel reduction while there are new projects. To me, that is the single biggest issue that potentially safety-wise faces the city. If we have a major fire that starts in our green belts, we're in trouble. And there's two different projects on that. There's the old Capitol site, which directly impacts my neighborhood in Glenwoods because we're the closest one, but that has become a huge uh, in homeless encampment and it's scarier than heck to think of if a fire starts there, it's gonna be across highway one and down in the city very, very fast. Uh, then we have another one that's that's actually putting together the, the fire fuel reduction. So we're talking, uh, so yeah, because I know everyone wa always wants numbers. It would be, oh, and uh, it's the dehumidifier is CW32A. Capital site yeah. fuel reduction is CW41. And I thought there was another one for fuel reduction that I'm not finding. And then the, the third major pro project, I, yeah, CW17. Uh, then the, the third major project, which I think is one that we had defunded, funded previously, was defunded, and that's CW13, which while it's not technically a safety project, is the beach mats. It's handicap accessibility to able to be take advantage of our beach. And it, as we've also heard, it helps the fire department and rescues for ocean rescues as well. So in a way, there is a safety element to that. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a few tens and a whole lot of zeros and ones or twos. So if I give one of your projects or one or two, it's not because I don't think it's a great project. It's just I'm trying to focus on at least my votes on the highest, the highest safety related ones throughout here. Uh, but that's just me. And again, I, you know, you all have to vote your, your thing. The one thing I found from last time we voted and did this process, threes, fours, fives, sixes, and sevens can make a whole lot of difference. And unless you really like a project, don't put a, a, a number on it because it's liable to push it over the top or above something else. So if you're doing it just because you think, well, I don't want to give it a big one. I'm just going to give a little, uh, you might want to, at least you're going to see a lot of zeros, ones, and twos from me for that specific reason. But again, that's philosophically where I'm coming from. Uh, and, and that's it for me for tonight. I do think we do need to do the dehumidifier despite the price tag. Without that being done, 
uh, everything is deteriorating, everything is rusting, and we're going to have a whole lot more maintenance beyond now. Uh, I think uh, the council others can figure out how to come up with the funds for the plastering and some of the others if we bite the bullet and do the big one. Thank you. Next. That would be, I think, uh, Kona. Uh, good evening. Uh, yeah, this is, I've been at this for a lot of years. and I, I think this is going to be our hardest year ever. Uh, I don't want to give another lecture about economics. All of you watch TV, you read the newspapers, you know the city of Monterey is in deficit for five years minimum. And because of that, I've changed my philosophy on voting this year compared to all the other years. So uh, I'm going to not going to reiterate all of Rick's comments, but I agree with him. I am concentrating on public safety. And, and let me explain that. Public safety is not a, a, an image project. It is not a nice to have project. I'm talking about saving lives or saving buildings from literally falling down. The sports set, the pool is an example. It's a steel frame building. Without the dehumidifier, that building will come down. It will rust and fall down. So uh, I also choke on the value. Uh, and I was hoping for a partial funding, but apparently the submitter has not asked for that. So it's either yes or no. And I'm a big supporter of fundraising for the water slide. I think it's a perfect opportunity. I will participate and I will help with the fundraising, but I thank Ed Smith for that. What I'm going to do is just quickly go over my list and there will be a lot of zeros and a lot of tens because I do realize a lot of our efforts may be for nothing tonight it may all be defunded in the months to come. We're facing $3.4 million deficit in December, and that hasn't been addressed. And the pandemic is the main reason. So going down the list, I wanna to go to COK uh, six. This is gonna be a little exception. Throughout the neighborhoods, I picked little park projects that aren't gonna take staff time, like the little swing at Kona, and Larkin and Via Paraiso, other parks. Uh, it, these are catalog items. They're not going to take a lot of estimating. So uh, I'm not going to address the other Kona projects. I'm going to go on to some of the others that I think we should. Well, I'm going to highlight. I don't know what you're going to do. Um, uh, DMB1, uh, the beach walkways. Uh, that's a safety project in my eyes. People tripping. So I'm supporting that. DMB 11 is another uh, one of the boardwalks. Um, gonna quickly go through this, won't take long. Um, and we got one here, DMG uh, nine is a tot lot improvement, Laguna Grande. That's a small project. Uh, DT 14, which is the Hartnell, crosswalk. I drive by that post office. That crosswalk is, is uh, very dangerous, very much needed. Uh, DT25 is the Webster uh, lighted crosswalk. I agree on that one. And just to give you a heads up, because you're going to be shocked at how I vote. I've never done this before. So I... Uh, Monta Vista 16, expression swings, small project, big effect, uh, little staff time. Uh, MV21, the tennis court. I, I'm tired of all the fighting on pickleball. I hope that solves it. <laughs> I hope we get somewhere on pickleball because I know it has a huge demand. Uh, New Monterey 24 is a David Avenue stop sign, flashing light. That at Pine Street is, is a problem. 
uh, New Monterey 35, which is the Nina's Bridge. I don't want to see that fall down. I want to see that finished. Uh, and rather doing the Kona project on the bike path when Mark Thomas, it ends at Slowden Del Monte. So rather than waste money planning this bikeway, we got to cross Del Monte. So I'm going to support that project. And then in future years, go for our bike path. And then we got Old Town uh, 2. That's the Larkin Park. And that's for some play equipment. Oh, well, then we have Skyline Windermere Drive. Hey, that to me is a public safety project. And if we ever get rain again, uh, we're going to have a problem there if we don't fix it. So I'm going to support it. And I think I got one more page. Uh, just to give you some of my thinking, if none of you agree with it, then I'm going to fund all, uh, vote for all the projects, but I don't think we're going to make it. The public art security plan is CD, CW5. I'm afraid of terrorism and damage on our artwork. I want to protect that. The city restroom study, CW9. If we can't build restrooms now, let's at least figure out where they're supposed to go. And then we got CW18, beach mats. That to me is a public safety issue. And then CW15 is the pickleball. If we want to go solve that problem, it's time to build it up at the Ryan Ranch. Uh, CW16, the tree inventory. Kona is lost. 80% of our oaks, whether they're gone or about to be gone, 80%. And so we need to figure out what's going on there. CW17 is greenbelt fuel reduction. Absolutely scares me to death if we don't do something about our fire hazard. And I'm about to finish. Uh, I'm worried about the CW25, the blue heron is sinking. That is a priceless piece of art. I think we have to save it. CW31 is the Dennis the Menace expression swings. And then we get to the sports center, CW32. Dehumidifier got to do. Whether you wanna do the replastering this year, I'm gonna hear what you have to say. And I want to privately fund the water slide. And I think is that uh, Fremont Mundrus, uh, what is this? Oh, this is the CW34. It's, that is another public safety. CW41, the cap, old capital site, got to do the fuel reduction up there. And we need to do that master plan. I think those are all critical projects, which I'll be supporting. Uh, I hope you think the same because you've seen the deficits. And CW63 is the bocce court at Vets Park. Small project, big result. So I want to thank you for your time. It's this is unprecedented times. We've never had a pandemic in a recession with soaring inflation and shortages and wars in the world all at the same time. Uh, we have to throw our rule book out and start thinking fresh. The world's changed. We have to too. Thank you. Okay, next to Jamie Dalmani Beach. I was just debating where to start. <laughs> I want to echo some of the things we've heard. I, when I go through this, as I go to every meeting, I'm, I'm looking at the quality of those product, those projects, and I'm looking at why NIP is here, and what I and and I'm marking down what I think are good projects. And when I went through the list, I found that there were a number of good small projects scattered through the neighborhoods 
um, that will immediately enhance safety and quality of life in those neighborhoods. And they've been waiting a long time for those. Um, I did find that uh, there was still room if we prioritize those for some other projects to get through. The challenge we have is with the staff we, staffing we have, it's very hard to get all these projects even built. Um, you put a big project on like the dehumidifier, that'll probably actually get done. Uh, some of the smaller ones might end up waiting a little bit, but I think that's a priority for us as well. So what you'll see in my voting tonight is, is some little ones in the neighborhoods and, and maybe some big ones too for general to get us get things started, to keep things going, keep things from falling down. Um, and safety will be one of our focuses. So I will go back then to Del Monte. And in the Del Monte Beach neighborhood, um, the number one priority of the neighborhood was Del Monte Beach number four, the security cameras. Uh, that's about safety big time. The police are using private cameras all the time now in our neighborhood. And this would be a better aimed, readily available public camera. And I've reached out to a couple of cities that are already doing this to get copies of their policies. So we can have that hit the ground running. The number two in the neighborhood is those walkway repairs. And I think you saw from the letters, lots of trips and falls. More people out during COVID getting fresh air in the neighborhood and falling and breaking things. So uh, that's number two in the neighborhood. Number Del Monte Beach number one is our number two. So number four is number one. Number one is number two. <laughs> um, there's the, and then those are pretty much the top two neck and neck. Number 11, the uh, the larger project for beach uh, repair is also very popular. Um, and the habitat restoration on number 13. And I think what you'll see, and I recommend to all the neighborhoods is if there's good projects that we don't get done tonight, we're gonna bring them back. So if we can't do them all, you'll see some of these again. But I think some of these small ones like the safety of the walkways and the cameras, we can get done and still do the big projects. Okay, uh, Delmoney Grove. As our neighborhood president mentioned, ours are safety related and our neighborhood board has prioritized um, DMG three, which is the Casanova Avenue radar speed signs as number one. It's a unobstructed, I call it a drag strip. It's a straightaway quarter mile and anyone so inclined can just let it rip as the MPD knows all too well. So not even to mention the hazard caused to the, the neighbors. Number two is Casanova Avenue sidewalk. Back when the sidewalks were built years and years ago, the owner of a large house at 501 Casanova did not want a sidewalk in front of his residence. Well, times have changed and pedestrians need a place to walk. That's DMG four. Our, our number three is DMG seven, which is Laguna Grande parking lot lighting. As our neighborhood president mentioned, at night, that's a magnet for uh, bad activity and MPD has suggested in the past that lighting could could help that problem. And our final and fourth is DMG 11, which is Virgin Avenue DG path widening. And here again, I, I walk by that stretch frequently and there's no sidewalk and it, Virgin at that point is narrow. So when I'm on foot, I mean, I depend on the drivers to make room for me because there's no real sidewalk there. The DG path is is being, has shrunk over time because weeds have grown in. So those are our top four. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kurt, downtown. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay, sorry. I, I want to repeat what everybody has, quite a few have said. It's safety, safety, safety is is our priorities, uh, along with the beach mats and and uh, lighting for, for safety, along with the fuel and the reduction. The main ones in our neighborhood are the, the crosswalks. The crosswalk at Hartnell 
the crosswalk at uh, El Estero, and also raising the sidewalk uh, by the school. So those are the three top priorities and they're all safety related. And throughout, uh, we, we looked at all of the safety issues and those are all gonna get very high scores. And I heard now, I'm being persuaded that perhaps the dehumidifier for the pool might be the best choice right now. And that's it, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Pitch Flats, Tom. Um, actually, my first choice will be uh, not in Fish Flats, but the priority is CW23 is the Jocelyn Canyon radar speed signs. That'll be our number one project. And the other one is Casanova Avenue radar speed signs, which is DMG3. Also, I'll be supporting the dehumidifier. Um, I was hoping uh, it was discussed the city council repairs at a considerable savings, but they're going, they're shooting the moon and going for 1.2 million. So we're stuck with supporting that. So I'll be voting for that. Uh, the beach mats is a good project as as has been spoken very eloquently by many people. Um, there's quite a few, as Jamie mentioned, some smaller projects that I'm going to be giving points to because I don't think we're going to have a very long list. And I think getting some small projects completed that will give a big payoff for safety sooner is the way to go on this on this uh, voting process tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Okay, next we have Monterey Vista, Jean. Thank you. Um, we ask your support for our number one project and our number two projects, both safety related. Um, we remain committed to uh, improving the safety of our neighborhood through undergrounding. The area of Monterey Vista has been declared the highest fire zone by Cal Fire, everything from Mar Vista up. So we need an answer to that in terms of undergrounding the power lines. We also need um, to disincentivize the uh, small cell towers going up that Carmel is facing now and we will face again and it's in front of the planning commission what those um, uh, regulations should be. So follow that closely. So CW14 is number one. CW10 is our number two. Monterey Vista MV14 is number three. That's the Via Paraiso basketball court. MV21 is number four. That's the tennis court striping at Via Paraiso Park to separate it from uh, pickleball. And our number five, CW17, the fuel reduction, again, for fire safety. Number six, I guess, MV16, Via Paraiso Expression Swings. Number seven, Sol MV17, Soledad Drive Traffic Calming. The next one would be MV10, San Bernabe Walkway Road Design. Then CW63, Vet Park, Bocce Ball Park, that's been mentioned a few times. And then Monterey Vista 18 would be the next in line. I think we're to, uh, I don't know, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is San Barnaby. Uh, Monterey Vista 12 is 11, Dry Creek Storm Drain. The next one is CW15, the Pickleball Complex. That's probably as all the goodwill we have. Uh, I do want to put a pitch toward the dehumidifier. Uh, for a number of reasons. Um, I, I wanna send a shout out to staff and city council that we're interested in meeting you halfway and we are cooperative. I really wanna avoid seeing staff reaching into NCIP funds um, and um, taking the funds of their own, of their own demand. That's, that's just not gonna work for NCIP. Um, and also I reiterate the doctor and as myself a nurse practitioner and, and nurse and nurse midwife, the number one death cause of our tots is drowning. So while we have this important asset of the, pool, of the pool, let's take care of it. Let's keep the kids safe. And um, 
I'm I'm also coming in under the um, the beach mats. That's been long overdue. Thank you. Thank you. You have a question. Could I ask Jean to please repeat her MV prioritization within the M within the Monterey Vista group? I missed the first couple. Well, yeah. ours is number one CW fourteen, two CW ten, three. Monterey Vista 14, four, Monterey Vista 21, five, citywide 17, six, Monterey Vista 16, seven, Monterey Vista 17, eight, Monterey Vista 10, uh, nine, citywide 63, 10, Monterey Vista 18, Mon and then Monterey Vista 12. Thank you. Okay. All right, we'll move on to Oak Grove. Uh, no, excuse me, I missed New Monterey. Okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> limit my comments to New Monterey projects. Um, four of the, however many we have, 15 or 16, would be um, priorities, three of which were probably previously funded. First one is New Monterey 15, the Visadero 700 drainage swale. Um, <clears throat> it's it's not I think well known within the rest of the city that Upper New Monterey is uh, kind of has the urban forest aspect to uh, a lot of its um, infrastructure, which in this case means we don't have curbs and gutters up there. Um, so that um, without the swale, without a decent swale on our side of of the street. Um, the, a lot of damage results when we get a lot of rain, which, it, you know, admittedly we haven't lately, <laughs> but um, it's, we have swales are what we have up there and, and it's, it's pretty important. Uh, second, uh, New Monterey 22, the Prescott 1740 sidewalk, uh, concur with the comments from the public on that one. Um, important um, project to, to complete, uh, to, to further um, um, good sidewalks on a busy street. Um, New Monterey 23, um, another one previously approved Oak Street 500 block widening. I'm sure many people remember the pictures and things from when it was discussed here. That is a dangerous block and it needs, um, it needs this work done. Um, phase two, uh, new Monterey 25, I mean, it, it'd be great, but I think that that could probably wait, uh, but I think we do need to get started on it. The one new project um, that I um, asked for support on is new Monterey 33, the Drake Avenue sidewalk. Um, that part of lower new Monterey uh, needs help. Uh, the, the, again, we saw the pictures on that one, the um, the corners are, are not up to standards. Um, this would be a start to making that street more livable and, um, uh, ask for your support on that. And, uh, I believe that is it. Okay. Oh, grow. First of all, I have taken notes of the observations about citywide projects. And I feel strongly about them too. So our neighborhood has only three projects of which our priority is OG1, which is the direct trail on uh, Del Monte and Park. We strongly support that because it's a safety issue. And we have gotten reports from 911 calls and they are many at that specific point. So that's telling us something. So we support that. And the second one is our sign, which we feel that is very important for our neighborhood. And that's it. Okay. April, old town. Uh, I talked with my alternate about this and trying to get a feel for what our neighborhood wanted and Old Town, oops, now I lost my page. Okay, Old Town 1, uh, the Legion 
American Legion to the Harrison Street walkway is, is heavily used, not just by our residents, but by a lot of people who like to hike up to the park and would like to take a shortcut. And there are a lot of safety hazards. There are no railings. The stairs are starting to fall apart and it's a relatively low amount for this project. Old Town 2, we, we had been after for years and years. And now the little boy who came to speak about this is in high school. So I think maybe um, it would be nice as I look through the other projects for the neighborhoods, the, uh, what, what are we calling them? The adaptive swings look like they are less expensive and might be a good alternative. So that would be one. And then our third one would be our neighborhood signs. We just want a few very basic signs like some of the other neighborhoods have that say, welcome to Old Towner. You're going up this hill. This is Old Town. You're entering a neighborhood um, rather than, as other people have said, speedways through their neighborhood. And those are our, oh, and then the last one is the historic lighting. That's a big ticket item. We'd like it, but maybe in a more reduced form, like one block, a couple, you know, to see what an individual light would cost and then proceed maybe in future years down. Pacific might be one alternative. Um, I, I think priorities are safety. I know our neighborhood heavily backs the green belt fuel reduction and anything else in other neighborhoods because we back up onto um, the canyon and all it takes is as we saw one year when there was a fire up in the Presidio that, oh my God, that's gonna come down my hill. <laughs> so um, anything regarding safety is a priority also. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Dennis Skyline. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Cool. Uh, the Windermere log drops, the uh, SK3 is uh, our number one because if we don't fix it, then we're just going to be sending mud down the hill. Uh, our number two is the uh, K Rail SK9. Uh, it's a $25,000 project because of the stopping the roadway to be able to paint it. So, but that's the entry to our neighborhood from Highway 68, and it's kind of ugly looking right now. It'd be nice to uh, refresh that. Otherwise, I appreciate the uh, comments of the rest of the committee. I did have one question for Del Monte Beach. The walkways at 550, would it be possible to do uh, 200 or 300,000 of that to allow the budget to go a little further for some of the small projects? I don't know. Del Monte Beach number one is 50,000. So that's just going to be repairing what's there. Okay. Del Monte Beach 11 was an estimate of 300 to do the whole block. Um, and that's a, a lower priority than just trying to get the repairs done. And that's a rough estimate. Okay, copy. Uh, thanks for the, under, uh, the uh, clarification. Okay, Villa Del Monte. Yes, uh, Villa Del Monte's uh, number one priority is uh, VDM 8. Second priority would be VDM 12. Third priority would be VDM 11. Fourth, VDM 10. And fifth, VDM 14. Uh, the project for the hardscaping is, of course, it's been around for a while. It was approved and defunded like most everything else. But this is considered to be an entryway to the city, particularly people going to the fairgrounds or turning right or left towards Del Monte and then continuing into town. And it is uh, basically a weed patch and rocks. And uh, hopefully with a mural on the sides of the uh, overpass to enhance that. Uh, those are the neighborhood items. Uh, I too concur with fire safety, green belt repair. Safety is a major thing. And having visited a daughter who lived in San Francisco for 15 years, I strongly support restrooms. <laughs> the city had made, or someone for the city had made interesting maps of areas to avoid up there. And I sure don't want that for my home down here. So that's my comments for now. Okay. Uh, before we start voting, I just want to, for the, for the record, on behalf of the commission, 
make sure the public uh, is aware, regardless of what happens tonight with the sports center, this commission has historically funded a tremendous amount of projects in the sports center, starting from day one when we funded extra funds to make sure that it was equipped well when it opened. We fixed the locker rooms. We fixed multiple things in the locker rooms and doorways and entrances. And historically through the years, we have consistently done repair and expansion projects with the sports center. So as a commission, we have historically done a, and spent a lot there. We've also been very proactive in, I think it was 15 years ago, we suggested to the council that they needed to start taking a percentage of the entrance fee and dedicating it to capital repair and replacement because we were already seeing things wearing out on the roof because you're near the water and so forth. It's nice to see the council finally did that 10 years later, but at least we have that in place and it's moving forward. So I don't think there's been a commission other than maybe Parks and Rec because that's under their remit who's done more and been more involved with the sports center. And we'll see how things come out tonight. But no matter what, I want to make sure the public realizes that who's watching. Uh, and it's we have always been supporters of the sports center and probably will continue to be. Uh, there's some challenges, though, when you start asking for $2 million at a pop out of a $4 million project. So, uh, But let's move on to voting. Uh, everyone clear on how we're going to be doing this tonight? First, we're going to be doing four projects where there are conflicts of interest. Uh, those are uh, DMG 10, DT4, NM11, and NM15. Uh, we'll take those one at a time and have the representative step out. I believe, do we have alternates for all four of those? I know we do for New Monterey. Not for Del Monte Grove. So Del Monte Grove will be the only one where there will be no one where you'll have to be, be setting out. So at that point, we'll you'll just step in the back room, we'll vote, then we'll call you back in. So those four will take a little bit longer just because of that process. And then we're just going to go one at a time. And so we'll say, ready? So get your numbers ready, vote, and hold it up for the camera until Tom tells us it's okay to put it down. And hopefully they can count real quick. Yes. Because we have 158 of these we have to do. Yes. So. Uh, so getting started with voting. So the first project will be actually Rick. I'm so sorry. Before we begin, we have a couple of hands raised from your committee. And okay. also okay. I do want to run a quick test of, um, the view for our folks on zoom, because a couple of you have backgrounds and we want to make sure that we can see your cards when you hold them up. Well, okay. So first we have a hand raise from, uh, Richard and then Dennis Duke, Richard. Yes. Uh, when you were speaking about what we donated to the sports center, we actually, while it was being built, NCIP funded finishing the whole second floor of the sports center. That was our project. If you go look at the plaque on the wall, you will see that's acknowledged. Uh, my question, Rick, was if the 1.2 million on the dehumidifier seems like a bit much, can we offer a smaller amount or does the submitter have to do it? Generally reducing the amount is the submitter. Uh, so, and my understanding is people made an attempt to reach the person, but I believe they are medically indisposed today. So they could not get Okay. Out. All right, thank you. Yep, Dennis. Uh, do we have to consider uh, contingency or set aside for contingency voting? Uh, yes. Yeah. Now the the way we're gonna we're gonna be working it was we're going to be doing our prioritizing today. Then we're having a meeting in August where the staff will have a chance to re uh, to actually get better at tighter estimates on the top projects. We'll see where it is. They're also going to have recommendations at that point for contingencies. So prior to us setting where the cutoff is, we will decide in that meeting how much to put aside for contingency. Understood. The and so that August meeting would also be where we consider the CWPP uh, vote by the uh, NCIP as uh, uh, supporting the uh, community wildfire protection. Plan. Yes, that's also the meeting we'd be doing that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Alyssa, do you want to run your test and? Yeah, um, it would be Kurt and then um, Richard. So if you can hold them 
So Richard, it looks like your, Kurt, we can see you pretty clearly. Richard, it looks like your background is affecting the view. So I don't know if you're able to turn off the background so we can view you clearly, but give it Yeah, up. I'm trying to figure out how to do that, Alyssa. Uh, can you hold it directly in front of you maybe like Kurt did? Like, uh, if, I don't know if we can get, hmm. Well, if you can get your camera maybe angled down a little bit and like Kurt had it in front of his chest kind of and it seems like that maybe helped. Ah, that doesn't seem to be help either. You no, know, I, I got to figure out issue tonight because I don't see Richard at all in my zoom. <laughs> there we go. Now I took that off there. You can see there that. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, it's a stretch for me. <laughs> and Dennis, you're going to be able to do yours too or? Okay, perfect. Because I I've got Zoom up and I don't see anybody on it, but okay. <laughs> I'm a big zero right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're ready. And yep. Yeah. Actually, it's fine now. On one screen, I can see everyone, and on the other screen, I don't see anybody. But it's like. Now please give us the number so we can look it up on the chart first. Yes, we'll be going in order. That so there are four um, conflict projects we're calling them. And those are the first one will be Del Monte Grove um, number 10. And just I wanted to explain just one final thing about the order. Um, last time we did this, everyone read out their neighborhood and we went um, starting at the top of the dais and went around left to right as we're looking at it. So um, Dwayne, you'd be first and then Luz and Rick, and then we'll go through Bill and New Monterey. And then we'll come back. So after Bill, April, you can go. Then we'll go across the table. So we'll, we'll all have to announce our, our vote. That's what we did last okay. time. Which so also means once you put it. your number up, you can't go changing when you hear other people's votes. Correct. And then when we do the <laughs> online ones, the order that we're going to do um, when we set this up was Monterey Vista. So it'll be the last one will be Del Monte Grove from in the chamber. Then we'll go Monterey Vista. So that'll be Gene. Then um, Kona, Richard, you'll go after Gene, then Kurt after Richard, and then finally Dennis will be after Kurt. Does that make sense? Dennis, no seeing what we're all voting and changing. No, he's up on the screen. So were there any questions about that? I was joking. I know you wouldn't. So. I'm the closer. Yes, we'll, we'll um, let the chair determine when it's time to take a break. And when do which to take a break? Take a break. Oh, yeah. At yeah. some point, we will need to take a break. So, so uh, if we want hey, to begin the break, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, so, in addition to holding up my number, I have to say my number. We'll then call everybody and wherever you say. Boy, that's going to take forever. Could, Why? Could, I actually, I, I don't I think can, we need I to. As long as you out. all can read, yeah. Yeah, I'll call it out then. And I'll start at the beginning. We'll do it. I'll just yeah, do it as quick. Because I, as long as we're holding, I don't think we all need to say it. As long as you announce Correct. each one, that way right. we can also make okay. sure you're uh, and recording it right. You're going to call the project number, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the way okay. I right. have it down, okay. I'll start. Okay. okay. What? Yeah. Thomas. Yeah. Ryan. After we do the four conflict projects. Okay. Well, there's more than that on the list, but not all of them need to be happen. Yeah. Okay. Just, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Just to confirm, Tom will count and call the numbers out. If you hear the wrong number called out, please raise your hand or wave somehow because when he reads it, that yeah. will be quicker across. And we're going to try to do the same order. We have two scribes on the side here, uh, both uh, Fatima and Cody, who will be taking the information down. They'll be back checking each other to make sure that all the numbers are correct um, as they're okay. read forward. So, Tom, like you mentioned before, yeah. read in the same order. If you hear something wrong, please let us know immediately so we can okay. make sure the record is exactly uh, correct. Yes. Yeah. And I'll I'll just announce um, the project and ask you to get your cards. What did Jeff Krebs say? Oh, prepare your score. Please prepare your score. And yep. give you just a moment to do that. Um, and then it will be present your score. And then you show your card. And then we'll, I'll read them out. Um, and then we'll make sure that that we've got all the numbers correct. I'll read them again at the end is how he did it last year. And he did them all in less than a minute <laughs> by the end. So, so we're going to set a timer. Let's, so. let's hope we get there. Okay. Uh, so 
the first conflict project is first conflict project is Del Monte Grove, number ten. Thank you, Scott. Um, okay. This is Laguna Grande soccer field fencing project. And if everyone's ready, everyone looks ready. Okay, present your scores. All right, Villa Del Monte is three. Luz, are you ready? This is Project GMG 10, the soccer field. Excuse me. Yeah. It was really neat. I was in my in the blue. Okay, so do you want a number? Yeah. Yes. If you want to vote, yes. Sorry. That's okay. It's the first time I can join this. <laughs> Thank you. And, and please hold it up. Yeah, your arms will be tired by the end of tonight. Um, is four. So Oak Grove is four. Alta Mesa is zero. Glenwood is three. New Monterey, six. Old Town, zero. Uh, Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flats is zero. No vote from Del Monte Grove. Uh, Monterey Vista is zero. Kona is zero. Downtown is one and Skyline is zero. All set. I can, no, okay. okay. Good. Second, well, let's get Scott back. And then Kurt uh, will place you in the waiting room until we're done voting. So hopefully within a minute, he'll be back. Or actually Bella's here too. Oh. This so is uh, downtown number four for the Jack's Park entrance baseball statue, the relocation of that one. Okay, present your scores. Thank you. Okay, Villa Del Monte is two, Oak Grove three, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood two, New Monterey one, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove two. Oh, you missed downtown. Downtown, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. Uh, Monterey Vista is zero, Kona is zero, downtown is two, ah, and right. then it's the uh, skyline reading the thing is one. We could get Kurt back in, Alyssa. That's probably a minute and a half. Okay. And then, uh, oh, thank you. That was awesome. Chinieri's here sitting in uh, for Bill. Uh, next project is New Monterey, project number 11. It's the Hilltop Park. New Monterey 11 is the next one. Hilltop Park Center, the study, phase one. Mm -hmm. Monterey 11. I find it. Yep. 11. New Monterey 11. Okay, these are the hard ones. The next ones will be in order. Um, okay, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is three, Oak Grove four, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood zero, New Monterey four. Four, Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, one. Fisherman's Flats, zero. Del Monte Grove, two. And Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, one. Downtown, one. And Skyline, one. Thank you. Next projects right below your list. There's New Monterey number 15, Divisadero 700 drainage swale. And we all set. Wait. Okay. Okay. I'll set. present your scores, please. All right. Um, Villa Del Monte Monterey. 4. Yep. Just show so you oh. can see it. Grove is three, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood seven, New Monterey 10, Old Town seven, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats 10, uh, Del Monte Grove nine, 
then Monterey Vista is 10. Kona is five. Downtown is 10. And Skyline is seven. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going into the actual order on the sheet. So it'll be a little bit easier to follow. Yes. So now we're coming down this list. We've done those. Finished. Yes. That one um, is not a conflict anymore. Yeah, the, the, we we dropped a lot of them. There was um, other requirements that came into play. The most of the other lists that were on the one for uh, conflicts were actually only on with alternates. And since yeah. the main it person was here, we did not need to treat it as a conflict project. Right. And there was further refinement of the list. Yes, there there were a couple other analyses that we were able to do to to qualify people to vote again. So the next project will be uh, Alta Mesa project number five, the Don Davi Creek Path Design Engineering Project. Which and if AM5. Uh, AM5. Now we're starting to down the list. From the top of the list. And please present your scores. Villa del Monte is eight, Oak Grove four, Alta Mesa seven, Glenwood seven, New Monterey 10, Old Town eight, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats two, Del Monte Grove eight, Monterey Vista 10, Kona is zero, Downtown is one, and Skyline is one. Next project is Alta Mesa number seven. That's the Don Davi Creek Path Construction Phase One. And if everyone's ready, please present your scores. Villa de Monte is one, Oak Grove six, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood seven, New Monterey one, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats two, Del Monte Grove, Lucuna Grande one, Monterey Vista zero, uh, Kona is one, downtown is one, and the skyline is one. Thank you. Next project will be Alta Mesa project number eight, it's the Don Davi Trail. Again, this one is for um, improvements phase two of that project. And please present your scores. Villa Monte is one, Oak Grove is five, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood two, New Monterey two, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats three, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista zero, Kona two, Downtown one, um, Skyline five. Thank you. Next project is going to be El Dorado tree removal. That's project number AM-11. Okay, we're ready. Present your scores, please. All right, Little Monte 5, Oak Grove 3, Alta Mesa 10, Glenwood 6, New Monterey 10, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 10, Monterey Vista 10, uh, Kona 4, Downtown 9, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Into Kona, project number four, COK4. It's a fairground road, airport road lighting project. Please present your scores. Right. Uh, Villa de Monte 6, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 5, Glenwood 8, New Monterey 4, Old Town 7, Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove 2, Monterey Vista 2, uh, Kona 4, I'm reading the names, I'm sorry, um, Downtown 2 and Skyline 5. Thank you. Next project is Kona, project number five, COK5, Casanova Oak Knoll Park Improvements. Present your scores, please. 
Villa Del Monte three, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood five, New Monterey seven, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach eight, Fisherman's Flats four, Del Monte Grove three, Monterey Vista eight, uh, Pona five, Downtown three, Skyline five. Thank you. Next project, Kona 6, COK-6, that's the Casanova Oak Knoll Park play structure. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte 7, Oak Road 4, Alto Mesa 5, Glenwood 4, New Monterey 9, Old Town 8, Del Monte Beach 8, Fisherman's Flats 4, Del Monte Grove 9, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 10, uh, Old Downtown eight and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is uh, COK seven, a Mark Thomas bike and pedestrian connection. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte zero, Oak Grove eight, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey three, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flats 1, Del Monte Grove 8, Monterey Vista 0, uh, Kona 0, Downtown 1, and Skyline 3. Thank you. Next project is Deer Flats uh, Park Bench. It's DF3. And present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte one, that was a one. Um, Oak Grove eight, Alta Mesa three, Glenwood two, New Monterey four, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats five, Del Monte Grove three, Monterey Vista 10, Kona one, Downtown two, and Skyline nine. Thank you. Project is DMB1, Del Monte Beach Walkway Repair. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 6, Oak Grove 9, Alta Mesa 7, Glenwood 9, New Monterey 10, Old Town 9, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 10, Laguna Grande, Del Monte Grove 10, Monterey Vista 7, uh, uh, Richard um, Kona, uh, Kona is 10. Um, downtown 10 and Skyline 10. Pardon the interruption, you're going to be fantastic. If you do me one favor, that would hold the cards up just a little longer after Tom reads it so the scribes make sure they get the numbers. Okay, there's just a habit of when Tom reads it to put them down right away, but just a half a second longer, it'd be awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, you good. Next project is uh, Del Monte Beach, project number two. It's the Spray Avenue Tot Lot Gazebo. And please present your scores. Okay, Villa Del Monte is two, Oak Grove seven, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood zero, New Monterey five, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach six, Fisherman's Flats one. Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista five, Kona zero, Downtown three, and Skyline one. Thank you. Okay. Next project is project number three, the Beachway Toilets. And Del Monte, we all set. Please present your scores. Villa Del Monte is six, Oak Grove is one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood three, New Monterey zero, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach two, Fisherman's Flats five, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, uh, Kona zero, Downtown two, and uh, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project, Del Monte Beach, project number 
four, DNB four. It's the Tide Avenue Delmonte Beach security camera. So, uh, uh, present your score, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte, seven, Oak Grove, one, Alta Mesa, two, Glenwood, three, New Monterey, seven, Old Town, nine, Del Monte Beach, 10, Fisherman's Flats, 10, Del Monte Grove, 10, Monterey Vista, 10, Kona, six, Downtown, 10, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is Del Monte Beach, project number five, DMB five, the Spray Avenue tot lot resurfacing. And present your scores, please. All right, Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove eight, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood five, New Monterey six, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach eight, Fisherman's Flats one, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista five, Kona one, Downtown three, Skyline one. Thank you. Next project is Del Monte Beach number six, DMP six, is the Rec Trail signage. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte one. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, six. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, one. Del Monte Beach, three. Fisherman Flats, two. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, one. Downtown, zero. Skyline, four. Thank you. Next project is Del Monte Beach 11, DMB 11. It's the Tide Avenue Beach Boardwalk Replacement Project. And present your scores, please. All right. Villa Del Monte 5, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 8, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 9, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove, five, Monterey Vista, two, Kona, 10, uh, Downtown, six, and Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project, Del Monte Beach, project number 12 is the Thai Avenue bike lockers. Yeah. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, zero. Grove three, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach two, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista one, Kona zero, Downtown zero, and Skyline three. Thank you. Next project is Del Monte Beach, project number 13. It's the Tide Avenue and Beachway Habitat Protection and Park Improvement Project. And present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove three, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey three, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach seven, Fisherman's Flats five, Del Monte Grove, five, Monterey Vista, six, um, Kona, zero, Downtown, one, and Skyline, four. Thank you. Next project is Del Monte Grove, project number two, DMG2. It's the Virgin um, Grant Avenue Memorial sign. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, zero, Oak Grove, five, Alta Mesa, one, Glenwood, two, New Monterey, 10, Old Town, one, Del Monte Beach, one, Fisherman's Flats, one, Del Monte Grove, three, Monterey Vista, zero, Kona, zero, Downtown, one, and Skyline, zero. Thank you. 
Next project is uh, DMG3 Casanova Ave radar speed sign. And present your scores, please. Villa del Monte, eight. Oak Grove, four. Alta Mesa, four. Glenwood, 10. New Monterey, six. Old Town, nine. Del Monte Beach, eight. Fisherman's Flats, 10. Del Monte Grove, 10. Monterey Vista, 10. Kona, 10, uh, downtown, 9, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is Casanova Avenue Sidewalk, DMP 4. Del Monte Grove, project number 4, Casanova Avenue Sidewalk. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte is 5, Oak Grove, 7. Alta Mesa 1, Glenwood 7, New Monterey 10, Old Town 9, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Groves 10, uh, Monterey Vista 8, Kona is 1, Downtown 8, and Skyline 6. Thank you. Next project is Casanova Avenue Streetlights, DMG 5. Present your scores, please. All right. Uh, Villa de Monte, five. Oak Grove, six. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, six. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, one. Del Monte Beach, two. Fisherman's Flats, eight. Del Monte Grove, three. Monterey Vista, two. Kona, one. Downtown, five. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. is going all right next project is del monte grove project number six dmg6 for the neighborhood crime watch signs and present your scores please villa del monte zero oak grove five alta mesa zero glenwood zero new monterey zero old town one del monte beach one fisherman's flat zero del monte grove one monterey vista zero kona four Downtown two and Skyline three. Thank you. Next project, DMG seven, Laguna Grande Park, uh, parking lot lighting. That's the Monte Grove project number seven. Present your scores, please. All right. La Monte is five, Oak Grove three, Alta Mesa six, Glenwood eight, New Monterey ten, Old Town seven, Del Monte Beach ten, Fisherman's Flats five, Del Monte Grove ten, Monterey Vista six, Kona eight, Downtown nine, and Skyline ten. Thank you. Del Monte Grove project number eight is Laguna Grande Park signage. DMG eight and present your scores, please. Villa del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey zero, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona one, Downtown one, and Skyline one. Thank you. Next project, uh, DMG nine is Laguna Grande Court Top Lot Concrete Repair. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte two, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa five, Glenwood two, New Monterey seven, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove four, Monterey Vista zero, Kona six, downtown five, and Skyline six. Thank you. And just keep in mind, we're skipping the one because we, 10, we've already voted on. So you'll be going to 11. So if you're working down your list, remember we already did 10. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the next project, DMG 11 is the Virgin Avenue uh, decomposed granite or DG path widening project. Present your scores, please. 
Okay, Villa del Monte four, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, Monterey eight, Old Town four, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove 10, Monterey Vista five, Kona two, Downtown four, and Skyline four. Thank you. So DT5 is the Hartnell Gulch Stream Restoration Project. Um, this is phase one of that project, DT5. And present your scores, please. Okay, Villa Del Monte is two, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey eight, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats one, Del Monte Grove, one Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, downtown two, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project will be um, DT 14, Hartnell Street Crosswalk Light, DT 14. Present your scores, please. All right, Villa Del Monte is four, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa six, Glenwood 10, New Monterey six, Old Town eight, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats two, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista seven, Kona 10, Downtown Kurt, can't see it. Thank you, 10, and Skyline eight. Thank you. Next project is downtown project number 16. It's the Church Street Raised Crosswalk, DT16. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is six, Oak Grove four, Alta Mesa two, Glenwood six, New Monterey 10, Old Town three, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove nine, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 10, Downtown 10, Skyline 8. Thank you. Next project, Downtown number 25, DT25 is the Webster, uh, well, Camino El Estero lighted crosswalk at Webster, DT25. Present your scores, please. So, Lodo Monte 7, Oak Grove 4, Alta Mesa 8, Glenwood 8, Monterey 7, Old Town 9, Del Monte Beach 8, Fisherman's Flats 5, Del Monte Grove 6, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 10, Downtown 10, Skyline 8. Thank you. Next project is Fisherman's Flats, project number 2, FF2. It's the Via Casoli Sewer Odor Prevention Project, FF2. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, two, Oak Grove, five, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, eight, New Monterey, zero, Old Town, two, Del Monte Beach, two, Fisherman's Flat, zero, Del Monte Grove, five, Monterey Vista, four, Kona, one, Downtown, three, and Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is FF3 Via Maritimo Streetlight as Fisherman's Flats, project number three. Present your scores, please. We've got Villa Del Monte is eight, Oak Grove six, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood six, New Monterey eight, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach two, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove seven, Monterey Vista two, Kona one, Downtown seven, and Skyline three. Thank you. Next project, FF5 via Isola, Jocelyn Canyon Entry Walls Rehabilitation. That's Fisherman's Flats number five. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte two, Oak Grove three, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood two, New Monterey four, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 10. The Monte Grove five, Monterey Vista seven, Kona one, uh, downtown one, and Skyline one. Thank you. 
Next project, FF6, Fisherman's Flats Park Improvements. That's Fisherman's Flats project number six. And present your scores, please. Villa del Monte, two. Oak Grove, four. Alta Mesa, two. Glenwood, four. New Monterey, eight. Old Town, one. Del Monte Beach, two. Fisherman's Flats, five. Del Monte Grove, four. Monterey Vista, seven. Kona, five. Downtown, five. And Skyline, five. Thank you. Next project is Fisherman's Flats FF7. It's the Via Casoli turnaround design. FF7. Present your scores, please. Villa Monte is one. Oak Grove, five. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, three. New Monterey, zero. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flats, four. Del Monte Grove, four. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, one. Downtown one and Skyline four. Thank you. It, um, after we finish Monterey Vista, we'll take a five minute break. That'll be Great. where we've been breaking things halfway in the past. So. Great. The next project then will be the first in Monterey Vista, project number five, MV5. It's the Via Del Rey, Herman, right turn elimination. This is for the additional street light over there. Um, MV5, present your scores, please. Villa del Monte, three, Oak Grove, four, Alta Mesa, two, Glenwood, seven, New Monterey, 10, Old Town, zero, Del Monte Beach, zero, Fisherman's Flats, nine, Del Monte Grove, four, Monterey Vista, four, Kona, zero, Downtown, seven, um, Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is MV7, uh, Monterey Vista Street Markings. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is three, Oak Grove six, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood five, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista two, Kona zero, Downtown, Kurt, can you put it there too? Thank you. And Skyline zero, thank you. Next project is Monterey Vista, project number 10. It's the San Bernabe Drive uh, and Walkway Design, MV10. No, we're on 10 now. No, we just voted on seven. Okay. So this is MV10, the San Bernabe Walkway and Road Design. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte is two, Oak Grove is four, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista 10, Kona zero, Downtown two, and Skyline three. Thank you. Next project, Monterey Vista 11. This is the El Caminito del Norte Streetlight, MV11. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte 4, Oak Grove 3, Alta Mesa 2, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 10, Old Town 5, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 3, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 7, and Skyline 1. Thank you. Next project is Monterey uh, project number 12. It's the Dry Creek Road Storm Drain Grate, MB12. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 5, Oak Grove 7, Alta Mesa 5, Glenwood 7, New Monterey 7, Old Town 3, Del Monte Beach 8, Fisherman's Flats 8, Del Monte Grove 2, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 4, Downtown 8, Skyline 1. Thank you. The uh, next project is MV13. This is the Mar Vista Traffic Calming Phase 1. That's MV13. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 2, Oak Grove 4, Alta Mesa 1, Glenwood 9. 
New Monterey, five. Old Town, two. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flats, one. Del Monte Grove, four. New Monterey, five. Kona, two. Downtown, five. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is Monterey Vista 14 uh, via prize of basketball court upgrade, MV14. Present your scores, please. All right, Villa Del Monte 5, Oak Grove 3, Alta Mesa 4, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 0, Old Town 2, Del Monte Beach 8, Fisherman's Flats 1, Del Monte Grove 7, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 8, Downtown 2 and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is MV15, Cielo Vista Drive, Cielo Vista Place, and Cielo Vista Terrace, the upgrades, the drainage upgrades there. MV15, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 1, Oak Grove 4, Alta Mesa 2, uh, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 2, Old, Old Town 2, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 8. Del Monte Grove 2, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 2, Downtown 2, and Skyline 5. Thank you. Next project is Monterey Vista number 16, Via Paraiso Park Expression Swings, MV16. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 7, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 10, Old Town 6, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 8, Monterey Vista 8, Kona 8, Downtown 6, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project, the Monterey Vista number 17, it's the Soledad Drive traffic calming and radar speed signs. MV17, present your scores, please. Hello, Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 6, Alta Mesa 1, Glenwood 9, New Monterey 7, Old Town 4, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 7, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 5, Downtown 8, and Skyline 7. Thank you. Next project is Monterey Vista number 18. It's the San Bernabe Curb Phase 1 uh, Partial Funding for Construction, MV number 18. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 4, Oak Grove 4, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 8, New Monterey 0, Old Town 2, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 4, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 4 and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is project number MV19. It's the Mar Vista Traffic Calming Phase 2. MV19, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte's 2, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, um, Glenwood 9, New Monterey Zero, Old Town Zero, Del Monte Beach Zero, Fisherman's Flats Three, Del Monte Grove One, Monterey Vista Eight, Kona Zero, Downtown Six, and Skyline One. Thank you. And then Monterey Vista Project Number 21, Via Paraiso Tennis Court Striping, that's MB21. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte Eight, Oak Grove Five, Alta Mesa 2, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 8, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 9, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 8, Downtown 2, and Skyline is 10. Thank you. And that's the end of the... We'll take a five-minute break. Thank you. <laughs> Third of the way through. Oh, there, there's water and coffee and, and things up front here. So.
you. Yes. Where are we? We'll be starting up on New Monarch Mon One. Okay, I'm trying to. Uh, that's okay. Great. This is sent Cody a text to talk to me. We got the screen a little bigger now, which hopefully helps everyone. All right. Next project is New Monterey project number one is the lower Presidio walkway phase two and M1. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa is zero, Glenwood five, New Monterey four, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown two, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is New Monterey project number four. It's the Sloat Monument Repair and Restoration NM4. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte two, Oak Grove three. Alta Mesa two, Glenwood two, New Monterey six, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove one, New Monterey two, yeah, Kona zero, Downtown zero, Skyline one. Thank you. You didn't get Monte Vista. Monterey Vista two. Thank you. Sorry about that. Project um, NM8, Project New Monterey number eight, is the Belden Drake Open Space Project. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte zero, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, New Monterey zero, Kona zero, Downtown two. And Skyline one. So that was. I didn't, I didn't hear it. Okay. He's only writing it down once, that's for sure. Okay. So right. I'll try and go just a little bit slower. Um, are you guys set? That's what, that's what matters. Okay. Uh, next project is New Monterey number 18. It's the Cannery Road Public they Restaurant. Just realized design. 11 and 15 we already voted on, so skip your list. 18. Thank you. All right. Cannery Road Public Restroom Design. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, New Monterey zero. Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown one, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is New Monterey number 19. It's the Bruce Arisway Lighting Upgrade Project, NM19. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 1, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 7, New Monterey 8, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flats 4, Del Monte Grove 1, New Monterey 10, Kona 0, Downtown 5, and Skyline 1. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm going to look up at the screen. That's going to help me. I'm sorry. Thank you. My apologies. All right. Next project is New Monterey 20, Taylor Street 600 block walkway, NM20. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 2, Oak Grove 4, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 6, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista. Zero, Kona, zero, downtown three, and Skyline one. Thank you. 
Thank you, Bill. Next project's New Monterey 22. It's the Prescott 1740 sidewalk. So it's at 1740 Prescott NM22. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte 7, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 7, Glenwood 5, New Monterey 10, Old Town 6, Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flats 8, Del Monte Grove 8, Monterey Vista 6, Kona 7, Downtown 9, and Skyline 6. Thank you. Next project, New Monterey, project number 23 is the Oak Street 500 block widening phase one, NM23. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte, six. Oak Grove is three. Alta Mesa, four. Glenwood, six. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, eight. Fisherman's Flats, one. Del Monte Grove, seven. Monterey Vista, 10. Kona, zero. Downtown, one. And Skyline, four. Thank you. Project number NM24, David Avenue LED stop signs, New Monterey project number 24. Present your scores, please. Villa Monte 3, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 4, Glenwood 9, New Monterey 8, Old Town 7, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 7, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 7, Downtown 0, and Skyline 7. Thank you. Next project is New Monterey 25, Oak Street Widening, Phase 2, NM25. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte is 3, Oak Grove is 2, thank you. Alta Mesa 1, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 10, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Forsherman's Flats 4, Del Monte Grove 6, New Monterey, I'm sorry, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown 0, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project, New Monterey number 29, uh, Frisbee Golf Putting Zone, uh, NM29. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is zero. Oak Grove, zero. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, zero. New Monterey, zero. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, two. And Skyline, one. Thank you. Next project is uh, New Monterey, 33. It's the Drake Avenue sidewalk, NM33. Present your scores, please. Villa del Monte, two. Oak Grove, six. Alta Mesa, two. Glenwood, seven. New Monterey, 10. O Old Town, two. Del Monte Beach, one. Fisherman's Flats, three. Del Monte Grove, six. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, two. Skyline, nine. Thank you. Next project is NM35, the Aeneas Bridge Restoration Deferred Maintenance. <clears throat> project number NM35, present your scores, please. Villa del Monte 5, Oak Grove 7, Alta Mesa 4, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 3, Old Town 1, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 5, Monterey Vista 7, Kona 10, Downtown 2, and Skyline 7. Thank you. Next project is Oak Grove, project number one is the La Playa and Park Avenue Bike and Pedestrian Crossing Improvements, OG1. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is five, Oak Grove 10, Alta Mesa six, Glenwood six, New Monterey 10, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach one, 
Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista, 10. Kona, three. Downtown, two. And Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is OG2. Oak Grove, project number two is the Oak Grove neighborhood sign at Mark Thomas. G2, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is four. Oak Grove, 10. Alta Mesa, one. Glenwood, 10. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, nine. Del Monte Beach, 10. Fisherman's Flats, nine. Del Monte Grove, nine. Monterey Vista, eight. Kona, one. Downtown, five. And Skyline, five. Thank you. Next project is Oak Grove, project number three. It's the Sloat and Del Monte Avenue Bike Infrastructure and Traffic Safety Project, OG3. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood eight, New Monterey 10, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach five, Fisherman's Flat one, Del Monte Grove eight, Monterey Vista zero, Kona 10, Downtown one and Skyline five. Thank you. Next project is Old Town. Project number one is the American Legion walk uh, to Harrison Walkway, OT1. And present your scores, please. Villa Monte six, Oak Grove four, Alta Mesa five, Glenwood six, New Monterey two, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove nine, Monterey Vista 10, Kona six, Downtown eight, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is uh, Old Town project number two, OT2 is the Larkin Park Swings installation, OT2. And present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is five, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood three, New Monterey 10, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove 10, New Mon ah. Monterey Vista 10, Kona seven, Downtown one, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project, Old Town, project number three is the Larkin Park Irrigation and Turf Renovation, OT3. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, zero. Oak Grove, five. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, three. New Monterey, one. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, one. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, downtown one, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next one is Old Town five, uh, Old Town Neighborhood Signs, project number OT5. Present your scores, please. Villa Monte is seven, Oak Grove six, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood three, New Monterey 10, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach two, Fisherman's Flats, five. Del Monte Grove, eight. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, five. Downtown, five. And Skyline, five. Thank you. Next project, Old Town number six, is the Old Town Accessible Park. That's project OT6. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte one, Oak Grove six, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood two, New Monterey zero, Old Town three, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats one, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown two, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is Old Town number eight. It's the Old Town Historic Lighting Project, OT8. Present your scores, please. And what? Oh. One moment, we'll try and get Dennis back. There he is. Welcome back. All right. 
And so again, this is a uh, project OT8, Old Town Historic Lighting. Project number OT8, present your scores, please. Let's see back, okay. Villa del Monte one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, two Monterey zero, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown one, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is OT9. It's the Old Town Conduit installation, OT9. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte 2, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 4, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is Skyline project number three. It's the Windermere Log Drop Repair. That's SK3. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte five, Oak Grove nine, Alta Mesa eight, Glenwood nine, New Monterey 10, Old Town five, Del Monte Beach, 10, Fisherman's Flat, 0, Del Monte Grove, 10, Monterey Vista, 10, uh, Kona, 9, Downtown, 9, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is Skyline, project number 9. It's the Skyline Forest Drive, uh, Holman Highway, K-Rail project for the bridge, SK9. Present your scores, please. Okay, Villa Del Monte is six, Oak Grove seven, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood six, New Monterey two, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flat nine, Del Monte Grove nine, Monterey Vista 10, Kona zero, Downtown five, and Skyline nine. Thank you. Next project is Sky, uh, SK 14, Skyline Forest, Drive Highway 68 traffic signs, SK14. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 4, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 9, New Monterey 0, Old Town 1, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 3, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown 5, and Skyline 1. Thank you. Next project, Skyline, project number 15 is the Skyline Forest signs, the entry signs to repaint SK15. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 3, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 2, Old Town 2, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 2, Monterey Vista 2, Kona 0, Downtown 1, and Skyline 3. Thank you. Next project is Villa Del Monte 1. That's the Villa Del Monte Radar Speed Signs, VDM 1. And present your scores, please. Belmonte zero, Oak Grove is three, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood ten, New Monterey one, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach four, Fisherman's Flat ten, Del Monte Grove seven, Monterey Vista zero, Kona six, Downtown seven, Skyline nine. Thank you. Next project, Villa Del Monte number two. It's the Villa Del Monte traffic calming phase one, VDM two. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte six, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa three, Glenwood eight, 
New Monterey 10, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 4, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 1, Downtown 4, Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is uh, Villa Del Monte 3. It's the Villa Del Monte Traffic Calming Phase 2, VDM-3. Present your scores, please. Okay, Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood eight, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove three, Monterey Vista zero, Kona one, Downtown four, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is uh, Villa Del Monte project number eight. It's the Casa Verde Highway 1 Hardscape Murals, BDM-8. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 10, Oak Grove 3, Alta Mesa 3, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 10, Old Town 8, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 5, Del Monte Grove 7, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 8, and Skyline 5. Thank you. Next project is... Oh, oh. For Villa Del Monte 8. We're, we're just checking the. Thank you. Did I say three? Okay, so it was oh. it was zero. I said three. I don't know why. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hang on one second. See how far that goes. All right, the next project then is VDM 10, Villa Del Monte project number 10, Ramona Avenue Highway Screening, VDM 10. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is six, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood two, New Monterey 3, Old Town 8, Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 8, Monterey Vista 6, Kona 1, Downtown 2, and Skyline 5. Thank you. Where are we? This is um, the Villa Del Monte Project 11, Ferranti Park Upgrades, BDM 11. Present your scores, please. All right, Villa Del Monte is seven, Oak Grove four, Alta Mesa one, Glenwood five, New Monterey seven, Oak, Old Town five, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove seven, Monterey Vista seven, Kona zero, Downtown five, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Uh, next project is Villa Del Monte project number 12. It's the Villa Del Monte neighborhood sign, BDM-12. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is 10, Oak Grove is two, Alta Mesa two, Glenwood two, New Monterey five, Old Town four, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats four, Del Monte Grove seven, Monterey Vista zero, Kona one, downtown two, skyline three. Thank you. Next project is Villa Del Monte number 13. It's the Frowney Park sidewalk repairs, VDM-13. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte zero, um, Oak Grove three. Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 4, New Monterey 0, 
Old Town 2, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove, the, yeah, Grove 2, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 5, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is Villa Del Monte project number 14, Casa Verde bike infrastructure, VDM-14. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is four, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa three, Glenwood five, New Monterey 10, 10, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove five, Monterey Vista three, Kona zero, Downtown zero, Skyline three. Thank you. And into the community wide projects. First one is community wide project number two. It's the historic Monterey master plan for art CW 2. Present your scores, please. Let Monte 3, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 8, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 5, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 1, Kona 1, Downtown 5, and Skyline 2. Thank you. Next project, CW5, is the Public Art Security Plan Phase 1, Community Wide Project Number 5. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is 5, uh, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 8, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 5, Monterey Vista 4, Kona 8, Downtown 4, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is community wide project number nine. It's the city restroom study. W dash nine. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte six, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood five, New Monterey zero, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach five, Fisherman's Flat zero. Del Monte Grove, 9, Monterey Vista, 3, Kona, 10. I did it again. You said 0 in Fisherman's Flats. Fisherman's Flats is 10. Del Monte Grove is 9. Monterey Vista is 3. Kona is 10. Downtown is 9. And Skyline is 10. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me honest here. Just tongue tied. <laughs> uh, next project, community wide project number 10, conduit installation pilot project, CW10. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 4, New Monterey 0. Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista 10, uh, Kona zero, Downtown two, and Skyline zero. Thank you. CW-11. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one. Oak Grove, two. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, zero. New Monterey, eight. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, 10. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, two. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, one. Downtown, zero. And Skyline, three. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 12. It's for the Rec Trail Water Bottle Refill Station, CW12. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 1, 
Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey 10, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista five, Kona one, Downtown two, Skyline three. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 13. It's the accessible beach mats, CW 13. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is 10, Oak Grove 5, Alta Mesa 10, Glenwood 10, New Monterey 10, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove 9, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 10, Downtown 10, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is community-wide project number 14. It's the utility undergrounding. It's the preliminary engineer's report, CW14. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 2, Glenwood 5, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 15, it's the Pickleball Six-Court Complex, CW15. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 5, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 2, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 5, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 5, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 2, Kona 5, Downtown 9, Skyline eight, thank you. Next project is community-wide number 16. It's the tree inventory, CW16. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte five, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa two, Glenwood five, New Monterey zero, Old Town four, Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove 5, Monterey Vista 1, Kona 10, Downtown 8, and Skyline 5. Thank you. Next project is uh, community-wide 17. It's for the Greenbelt Fuel Reduction, CW17. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 10, Oak Grove 6, Alta Mesa 10, Glenwood 10, New Monterey 1, Old Town 10, Del Monte Beach 5, Fisherman's Flats 10, Del Monte Grove 6, Monterey Vista 10, um, Kona 10, Downtown 10, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 18, the solar car charging stations, CW18. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 0, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 5, New Monterey 6, Old Town 1, Del Monte Beach 5, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 5, Kona 0, Downtown zero, the skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 19. It's the El Dorado driveway reconstruction, CW19. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two. Uh, New Monterey 8, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 0, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown 0, Skyline 0. Thank you. Uh, next project, community-wide 20, Via Marata at Fremont Traffic Signal. 
uh, CW20. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, six. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, nine. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, zero. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, nine. Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project, Community Wide 21, is the North Fremont Street Beautification, CW21. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, two. New Monterey, two. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, three. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, two. Downtown, zero. Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is Community Y22. It's the old Salinas Highway uh, pedestrian sign and lighting. It's for a street light over there, CW22. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one. Oak Grove, five. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, four. New Monterey, three. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista, two. Kona, one. Downtown, three. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is Community Wide 23. It's a Jocelyn Canyon radar speed signs. CW23. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, Three, Oak Grove is pending. Three, Alta Mesa, two, Glenwood, 10, New Monterey, one, Old Town, one, Monte Beach, one, Fisherman's Flats, 10, Del Monte Grove, nine, Monterey Vista, 10, Kona, six, Downtown, nine, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. And next project is community wide number 24, the Del Monte Beach dunes, fence, and signage repair. It's actually uh, not at Del Monte Beach, but it's the dunes, fence, and signage repair project community wide 24. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, four, Oak Grove, five, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, four, New Monterey, zero, Old Town, one, Del Monte Beach, two, Fisherman's Flat, seven, Del Monte Grove, three, Monterey Vista, one, Kona, two, Downtown, nine, and Skyline, four. Thank you. Next project, Community Y25. It's the Great Blue Heron Sculpture Restoration. Community or CW25, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is seven, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa two, Glenwood four, New Monterey zero, Old Town nine, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats eight, Del Monte Grove five, Monterey Vista three, Kona eight, Downtown six, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project, Community Y28, is for the, the street light at the library parking lot exit. It's actually on Pacific Street, now CW28. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, seven. Oak Grove, seven. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, seven. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, nine. Del Monte Beach, 10. Fisherman's Flats, 10, Del Monte Grove, 4, Monterey Vista, 10, Kona, 1, Downtown, 8, and Skyline, 3. Thank you. Next project is Community Wide 29. It's for the Downtown Portland Lose, CW-29. Present your scores, please. 
Villa Del Monte, two. Oak Grove, five. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, four. New Monterey, zero. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, one. Fisherman's Flats, nine. Del Monte Grove, two. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, one. Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is community wide 30. It's the waterfront wayfinding signage program, CW30. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 4, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 2, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 2. Downtown zero and skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is CW31, Dennis the Menace Park Expression Swings, community wide number 31. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is five, Oak Grove nine, Alta Mesa seven. Glenwood 2, New Monterey 10, Old Town 9, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 6, New Mon uh, Monterey Vista 8, Kona 8, Downtown 8, and Skyline 9. Thank you. Next project is community-wide project 32A. It's for the sports center pool modernization for the dehumidifier replacement. Uh, community-wide 32A. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 8, Oak Grove 9, Alta Mesa 10, Glenwood 9, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 7, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove 10, Monterey Vista 9, Kona 10, Downtown 9, and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is community-wide 32B. This is also at the Sports Center for the Pool Modernization Project. This is for the pool replastering portion of the project. CW32B. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 8, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 8, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 10, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 2, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is Community Wide 32C. This is a Sports Center Pool Modernization for the Water Slide Replacement. At CW-32C, and present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove five, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove three, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown zero, and Skyline zero. Thank you. And the next project, Community Wide 32D, is the Sports Center Pool Modernization Project. This is for the Natatorium Door Replacement, 32 CW32D. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 1, Oak Grove 2. Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, two, New Monterey, zero, Old Town, zero, Del Monte Beach, zero, Fisherman's Flats, zero, Del Monte Grove, seven, Monterey Vista, zero, Kona, zero, Downtown, zero, Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project, Community Y 32E, um, the Sports Center Pool Modernization, this is for the natatorium wainscoting. 
32E. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats zero, Del Monte Grove seven, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown zero, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is uh, community wide 32F. Sports Center Pool Modernization. This is for the Natatorium Painting, CW-32F. Present your scores. Del Monte 1, Oak Grove 2, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 0, New Monterey 1, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 5, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown zero and skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community wide 32G. Um, that's just for the sports center pool modernization for the saunas replacement. Project number 30 CW 32G. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove two, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown zero, and Skyline zero. Thank you. The next project is community wide 33. It's the Elastero Park Bike and Pedestrian Path Design. Project CW 33. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 2, Old Town 3, Del Monte Beach 1, Fisherman's Flats 1, Del Monte Grove 3. Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, downtown one, skyline eight. Thank you. Next project, community wide number 34. It's the Fremont Munris uh, flashing beacons at the crosswalk there, CW 34. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is five, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa five, Glenwood eight, New Monterey one, Old Town three, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats one, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista zero, Kona eight, Downtown ten, and Skyline seven. Thank you. Next project, community wide thirty five. Fremont Street, uh, DG Walkway, um, CW-35. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 0, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flats 1, Del Monte Grove 3, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown Three, Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 36. This is for the Elastero Park shade structure, CW-36. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, zero. New Monterey, four. Old Town, one. Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flat 7, Del Monte Grove 1, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 37. It's the Jacks Park Infield Turf Project, CW 37. Present your scores, please. Okay, Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, 
Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, two. New Monterey, zero. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flats, zero. Del Monte Grove, two. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, one. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 38. It's the El Estero Center Play Equipment Upgrade, CW 38. And present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is two, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey eight, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flats nine, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista four. Kona, zero, downtown, four, and Skyline, four. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 39. It's the Elistero Park Par Course Upgrade, CW-39. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one, Oak Grove, one, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, two, New Monterey 2, Old Town 1, Del Monte Beach 2, Alt Fisherman's Flats 0, Del Monte Grove 0, Monterey Vista 0, Kona 0, Downtown 2, and Skyline 3. Thank you. Next project, community wide number 40, Solicitor Ballpark Lighting, CW 40. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood two, New Monterey seven, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flats zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista two, Kona zero, Downtown zero, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 41 for the Old Capital Site Fuel Reduction and Cleanup, CW-41. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, 10. Oak Grove, 5. Alta Mesa, 10. Glenwood, 10. New Monterey, 10. Old Town, 9. Del Monte Beach, 2. Fisherman's Flats, 10. Del Monte Grove, 6. Monterey Vista, 7. Kona, 10. Downtown 10 and Skyline 10. Thank you. Next project is community wide 42. It's the old capital site master plan, CW 42. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 2, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 7, Glenwood 10, New Monterey 5. Old Town, three, Del Monte Beach, eight, Fisherman's Flats, nine, Del Monte Grove, seven, Monterey Vista, six, Kona, 10, Downtown, seven, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 43 for the Pacific Corridor Traffic Signal Adaptive System, CW-43. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is four, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood nine, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove two, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown five, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 45. It's for the Cannery Row Workers Housing Restoration or the Worker Shacks change to housing, uh, CW-45. Present your scores, please. Villa Monte is four, Oak Grove is one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, New Monterey 10, Old Town one, Del Monte Beach six, Fisherman's Flats eight, Del Monte Grove four, 
Monterey Vista 10, uh, Kona 1, Downtown 4, Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 46. It's the Recreation Trail Restroom Signage, CW-46. And present your scores, please. Villa Monte, zero. Oak Grove, four. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, four. New Monterey, three. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, 10. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, eight. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, five. Downtown, one. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 47. It's the Shoreland Park uh, Fish Hopper Restoration and Historical Signage, CW-47. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa four, Glenwood zero, New Monterey 10, Old Town three, Del Monte Beach four, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove, one, Monterey Vista, three, Kona, four, Downtown, zero, and Skyline, two. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 48, is for the Recreation Trail DG Reconstruction, uh, project number CW48. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood six, New Monterey two, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista zero, Kona one, Downtown one, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is number community wide project number 50 for the rec trail study. That's CW dash. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood six, New Monterey eight, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove seven. Monterey Vista, zero, Kona, zero, downtown, one, and Skyline, three. Thank you. Next project is number CW51 for the Rec Trail Lanes. Community-wide number 51. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is two. Oak Grove is five, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood eight, New Monterey one, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach eight, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista one, Kona zero, Downtown zero, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 52. It's for the Rec Trail Automated Pedestrian and Bike Counter, CW-52. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is zero, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood two, New Monterey eight, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero, Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, one. Downtown, zero. And Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is uh, community-wide number 53. This is the Schultz Park um, at Foam and Drake, the renovation design. CW-53. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, one, Oak Grove, one, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, zero, New Monterey, three, Old Town, six, 
Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown one, Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 54. It's the pedestrian improvement study along Lighthouse. That's CW-54. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, zero. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Glenwood, two. New Monterey, zero. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, zero. Fisherman's Flat, zero. Del Monte Grove, two. Monterey Vista, zero. Kona, zero. Downtown, one. Skyline, zero. Thank you. Next project is community-wide number 55. This is the Police and Fire Honor Garden, CW-55. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, three. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, four. Glenwood, nine. New Monterey, six. Old Town, four. Del Monte Beach, three. Fisherman's Flats, four. Del Monte Grove, two. Monterey Vista, two. Kona, one. Downtown one and Skyline four. Thank you. Yes. And just a technical pause here for a moment. We need. We're almost done. Yes, it will be changed. You got any shadow puppets you can do? Yeah, we got Drink water. We just have to uh, get the laptop plugged in. I don't know if everyone caught that. So we don't lose all the results. Okay, we ready? Next project, thank you for your patience there, um, is project number community-wide 56. It's the Path of History Map Mural, CW-56. Present your scores, please. Uh, Villa Del Monte, four. Oak Grove, one. Alta Mesa, zero. Linwood, two. New Monterey, six. Old Town, zero. Del Monte Beach, three. Fisherman's Flats, zero. Del Monte Grove, one. Monterey Vista two, Kona one, downtown one, and Skyline four. Thank you.
Next project is the Monterey Walk of History Milestones, uh, community-wide 57, CW57, the Walk of History Milestones. Present your scores, please. Melita Monty, four, Oak Grove, one, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, two, New Monterey, three, Old Town, one, Del Monte Beach, one, Fisherman's Flat, zero, Del Monte Grove, one, Monterey Vista, one, Kona, zero, Downtown, one, and Skyline, four. Thank you. Next project is uh, community wide 58. It's the, for the Ryan Ranch RV storage lot security cameras. That's CW 58. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 5, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 0, Old Town 1, Del Monte Beach 2, Fisherman's Flats 9, Del Monte Grove 0, Monterey Vista 0. Kona four, downtown one, and skyline zero. Thank you. Next project, a community wide 59. It's the highway one. Um, 68 to Viejo bike path upgrade, the one along highway one. CW-59, present your scores, please. Villa de Monte 2, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 2, New Monterey 6, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 0, Fisherman's Flat 0, Del Monte Grove 0, Monterey Vista 1, Kona 0, Downtown 2, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project is CW61. It's the Veterans Park Bike Path, Segment 4, CW-61. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 2, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0, Glenwood 3, New Monterey 3, Old Town 0, Del Monte Beach 10, Fisherman's Flats 2, Del Monte Grove 0, Monterey Vista 10, Kona zero, downtown two, and skyline two. Thank you. Next project is community wide 62. It's for the Veterans Park repairs. Let's CW62. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is five, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa three, Glenwood three. New Monterey, three, Old Town, eight, Del Monte Beach, five, Fisherman's Flat, seven, Del Monte Grove, three, Monterey Vista, 10, Kona, four, Downtown, two, and Skyline, five. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 63, is the Veterans Park, the Bocce Ball Court Surface, CW-63. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte, four, Oak Grove, one, Alta Mesa, zero, Glenwood, two, New Monterey, zero, Old Town, eight, Del Monte Beach, three, Fisherman's Flat, zero, Del Monte Grove, five, Monterey Vista, 10, Kona, seven, Downtown, one, and Skyline, 10. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 64. It's the Veterans Park Intersection Design, CW 64. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is three, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood four, New Monterey two, Old Town seven, Del Monte Beach three, Fisherman's Flats three, Del Monte Grove four. Monterey Vista 10, Kona 0, Downtown 5, and Skyline 0. Thank you. Next project, community-wide 66. It's the El Estero Lake Edge Improvements, Phase 5. Project number CW-66. 
present your scores, please. Villa del Monte is three, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood one, New Monterey eight, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat six, Del Monte Grove three, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown two, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 68 for the Veterans Park Day Use Area Erosion Control at CW 68. So CW68 is for the Veterans Park and Day Use Area Erosion Control Project. Everybody ready? Okay, present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte 3, Oak Grove 1, Alta Mesa 0. Glenwood four, New Monterey zero, Old Town two, Del Monte Beach one, Fisherman's Flat seven, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista eight, Kona zero, Downtown seven, and Skyline zero. Thank you. Next project is a Monterey Bay Park restrooms. Phase three is community wide project number 69, CW 69. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is two, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa seven, Glenwood three, New Monterey 10, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach four, Fisherman's Flats zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown one, Skyline one. Thank you. Next project is community wide number 70. It's the Monterey Bay Park shower station, CW 70. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is three, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood zero, New Monterey six, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach two, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove zero. Monterey Vista, zero, Kona, zero, downtown eight, Skyline one. Thank you. Next project is CW71. It's the Munras um, Avenue Soledad Freeway Entrance Signage Project, CW-71. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood eight, New Monterey eight, Old Town six, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Kona zero, Downtown zero, Skyline zero. Thank you. And the final project is CW72. It's the Franklin Corridor Traffic Signal Adaptive System. Community-wide project number 72. Present your scores, please. Villa Del Monte is one, Oak Grove one, Alta Mesa zero, Glenwood eight, New Monterey zero, Old Town zero, Del Monte Beach zero, Fisherman's Flat zero, Del Monte Grove one, Monterey Vista zero, Casanova Oak Knoll, zero, downtown, four, and Skyline, zero. We are officially done voting. And it's only 9.30. I heard it. Remember? <laughs> yeah. 11 o'clock or later? <laughs> I remember our 1.30 in the morning, but, uh, okay. Uh, if uh, you would like to take a break for a few minutes, we can sort the list and come up with the priorities 
of the projects that you're not going to read the entire 158 in order no we're not gonna if you could give us the top 10 that would be great to know tonight that, to yes to leave we could do and i'm assuming you'll get the other list out to us later next week yes yeah, yeah easily and then we'll have and then we'll have so while you're compiling that why don't we do commission comments and then we'll do that quick at, at the at the very end to give okay. you a chance to do it okay. so <laughs> any uh commissioners wish to do commissioner comments please raise your hand uh lee and then april <laughs> The only comment I have is, Tom, your voice is so soothing and mellow, you're putting me to sleep. <laughs> and, and Lee, and Lee, I do want to apologize because I guess I skipped you when it was time for comments on all the projects. I skipped Glenwood. Tom, Alyssa, Tony, and the engineering staff on behalf of the NCIP family of neighborhoods. Microphone. Our appreciation and deep. I know you're doing, Richard, and deep gratitude for all the hard work during these difficult times. Old project, new projects, defunded projects. Who's on first? What's on second? And I don't know who's on third. I mean, this keeping all of us and this the projects together and organized was a job in itself. Listening to our neighborhood wants and needs makes Monterey the city of the people where everyone wants to live, work, and play. From all of us in our neighborhoods, we thank you. Thank you. That sounds like a candidate. Okay, then I've got uh, Richard, like then Kurt, then Gene. Yes, uh, I want to thank Tom. You run a very pleasant meeting, Tom. I thank you. It's very organized, very well done. And a second thank you to Rick for his leadership. I don't know anybody else that could do this. And the third thing, it was very unpleasant for me to vote zero on projects. This is an extraordinary year. I hope we never have to go through this again. Thank you. Okay. Kurt. Yeah, I want to echo what Richard said to thank you to Tom and to Rick. This, this was one of the best meetings I've ever attended for voting. Excellent. And the other thing I want to do is a little bit political, is if you will watch the council meeting from uh, last Tuesday, I, I was very taken aback by two of the council members' comments implying that the presidents of the neighborhoods and the NCIP committee didn't see the big picture. I hope those councilmen are watching tonight. Certainly NCIP has the big picture in mind, and we are funding what is necessary and what the citizens want in the community. That's all I got to say. And I, I, again, appreciate this meeting. It was excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. Jane? Uh, I second uh, many of the comments. Tom, you do such a controlled, calm, serene meeting. You make it a joy. And, and uh, Rick, your leadership has been um, insurmountable we couldn't have done it without you i saw everything you did in the in the back corridors all the extra meetings uh you worked tirelessly uh for us in the city and i thank you thank you Jim. uh anyone else if not i'll do oh yeah i got some folks up here i don't see hands going up it's because they're in front of me okay i right just wanted to wait left to right and around I wanted to third and fourth and fifth all the comments. You know, I, this is my first time through, and Tom and the rest of the staff and Rick's leadership made it seamless and uh, easy to easy to pick up for a first timer like me. So thank you. Um, thanks to Rick and Tom for a very smooth running meeting. There and then here and then. I want to uh, rate the uh, staff and my fellow committee members. Okay, <laughs> job done well, it was great. I mean, by the project, I think we were faster this year than last time because we had half the number of projects and we finished a quarter after nine. <laughs> so congrats and Rick, thank you. You're welcome. Great job, Tom and staff. 
when I say this is my first time, this is my first time using the flip cards, but I've been here for what oh, three yeah. years? A long time. So, and definitely this is much better. And we can go home early, I hope. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, this is my first time through the entire sequence. Um, I was alternate in 2020, so I got about two meetings in before everything shut down. But uh, I would say two weeks ago, about this time, I was it was not at all clear to me how this was possibly going to come together. <laughs> um, and it worked out. It was, uh, um, I think, well considered. Uh, people voted with a purpose that I really appreciated. And uh, so I think that uh, we did our job. Thank you. Jamie? <clears throat> And so as we're getting ready to put our notes together and, and wrap it up, be thinking about then next year, be thinking about, I think each representative has to decide what projects to bring forward, or we as a committee need to decide what the process is going to be around that. Be thinking about um, contingency and cutoff and all that. So we're prepared when we come into that August meeting because we got some work to do. Dennis. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished, Rick. I hope you stay in that uh, chair position. <laughs> leadership, your leadership has been great, and Tom, we appreciate you and the city's support as well. Uh, and I echo the uh, sentiments of the other gentleman that uh, when I went to the city council meeting on Tuesday night, I didn't know how the hell we were going to pull this together, and yet we did. Thank you. I, I've got three comments as the last ones. Uh, one, I didn't sign up to do this forever. So someone start thinking you might want to, to do this. Uh, the second is uh, this crazy way with the flip card seems to be working. Uh, we've gone through a lot of different versions on my 34 years of doing this. I will never forget the very first year NIP was created. We had no procedures. So we nominated one project at a time, duked it out over each project, and then about three projects in, we realized we could fund every single one of them. And then the next year, we started figuring out there had to be a better way. Uh, I think seeing parts of the council meeting, I do want to remind public and any of those who are listening, NIP was created because city councils do not always follow or understand the needs of the neighbors and those small projects throughout because the city, because they tend to think of the big sexy projects, the big things that need to be done, widening Del Monte and the big ones. They don't think about a block of sidewalk infill. They don't think about radar signs, traffic calming. Uh, if it wasn't for NIP, Laguna Grande, Villa Del Monte would still have no sidewalks and no storm drains. All of those were put in by NIP. Uh, most of the neighborhoods have complete sidewalks because of NIP, we did all the infill. It never would have happened if it was up for the council. So I do say for certain council members who are out there, you need to look back a little bit of the history. The residents of this town also know what's needed in the town. And a lot of times it's small projects. The reason we have great equipment in all of our parks is NIP. We've redone all the equipment in all the parks. It would not have happened without this program. So. Different people have different priorities, but to think that NIP doesn't look at the big picture in the city belies its 34 year history of all the different things in the city we fund in not just the neighborhoods, but citywide as well. So do we know what our top 10 projects are? We do have an initial top 10. Uh, again, this is initial one. We'll double check with uh, yep. the video and other staff. All right, so do we wanna go one to 10 or 10 to one? Don't matter. One to 10. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy one. All right. Number one, we have CW13. That's the accessible beach mats. Number two, we have DMB1. That's the Del Monte Beach Walkway Repair. Number three, CW41, Capital Site Fuel Reduction and Cleanup. Number four, DMG3, Casanova Avenue Radar Speed Signs. Uh, number five, CW17, that's Green Belt Fuel Reduction. Uh, number six, AM11, that's El Dorado, El Dorado Tree Removal. Uh, number 
seven, we have SK3, Windermere Log Drop Repair. Number eight, we have DT25, that's Webster, Caminito, El Estero, Lighted Crosswalk. Uh, and then number nine, we have CW32A. That's the sports tenor pool modernization, the dehumidifier replacement. Uh, and number 10, we have DMG7. That's Laguna Grande Park parking lot lighting. Okay. A nice mix across all the city. So thank you. And we'll be getting the whole list and priority at some point next week, probably once you've double checked everything. And then we'll be setting the date in August. Uh, tentatively, is it? Are we going to go for the 18th or if you want to set it now, that'd be easier. The more, the better. Uh, we can, I'm assuming we'll probably still be hybrid because I doubt the governor is going to eliminate that between now and then, given how things are mm -hmm. that COVID still does exist. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, let's set it for the 18th. Uh, and let's just do an email out to everyone just to verify to make sure that we've got, a, we'll have a quorum. You know, some people may be doing it remotely. I have a feeling I'll be running the meeting remotely, but uh, let's go from there. I think you got, okay. And any final things? If not, we are. Golden State one. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Kurt. I, I take it back. <laughs> Golden State. But yeah. Yes, Kurt. Are you still have your hand up to speak, Kurt, or is that just your hand up? No, uh, it's not unmuting when I hit spacebar. Sorry. Okay. Golden State won. Uh -huh. Warriors are champs. Okay, I can whack the gavel now. Okay.